one and all on the internet. And uh, we uh, have a very interesting and diabolical situation that's developing into the woods north of uh, Lathe. And uh, with that, we have in those woods two mighty heroes, Morgoth and Hellion Weaver. They were traveling from Zelion trying to get to Doolin, but got turned around into the woods. And as they did, they were traveling along with very little um, danger hitting them at the moment. But in the distance, they see a campfire burning off uh, uh, probably we'll say 300 feet away from them as far as that. So I'll turn it over to Morgarath and Hellion to see how they react to that. And from Bran and Empty Cup, please give me uh, perception checks. Oh, nice pick there, Hellion. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Nineteen. Okay, and a fifteen. Okay. You two hear some sounds coming from the far side of the campsite. You don't see what it is yet, but you hear some sounds coming from the... Um, Kind of the the nor, uh, north by northwest air, uh, general area. Mm. Uh, Morgrath is usually pretty quiet. Um, kind of looks to see what Hellion wants to do. Uh, well, um, we could approach cautiously, um, and that way. They won't necessarily see us, and we can assess the situation further before uh, deciding whether it's safe or not. Uh, alternatively, we could just carry on past them. Uh, but uh, you have a destiny to find, and uh, I have a destiny to help you find. So uh, I think we should talk to them. They could be important people. Yeah, ignoring signs is usually a bad idea. Uh, we should uh, proceed with caution, though. Um, just in case. All right, so how are you going to, one, communicate with them, and two, commu uh, be cautious about it? Uh, Let me... Uh, My suggestion would be to uh, stealth up to them, um, or at least attempt to. And where you see the X is where you see is the campfire. And let's see here, I'll give you a nice, uh, a nice uh, one right here. And you're, you guys are about, <coughs> we'll say, kind of there. And we'll say the other hoodlums are kind of about there. So right around and the actions around the bouncing ball. With the bouncing ball work. Uh, 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 uh. Say what, Hellion? Jim, or, or should we uh, take a stealthier approach? Uh, let's stealth up to him. Excellent. Uh, we will. Damn it, it's put me into it. There we go. Uh, we will stealth up to them. All right. Um, give me 
a uh, who who has the uh, best stealth out of the two of you? Uh, I have four. plus five. Uh, no, I also have plus four. Wait. Oh, okay. then give me a second here. Uh, and one of you give me a uh, a stealth roll, but oh, give me yes, with the advantage. Uh, you go ahead. Right. You want to make it. All right. Let me uh, roll some dice here. Uh, 18. All right. And you move on up. You, both of you move on up. You see the ca outliers uh, in the camp, uh, in the camp, a uh, campfire there. You see five orcs, two half giants, and you see a group of miscellaneous humans, tieflings, and uh, hobbits, and all kinds of races uh, left over there. Uh, uh, with the time that you would take there, you would figure there's about 21 of them in total that you can see. And you see two bags sitting off to the side uh, every once in a while squirming. Uh, the humans, tieflings, assorted other uh, things that aren't gnomes and or half giants. Um... Do they look to be prisoners, or they're just part of the camp? They look to be part of the camp. They are um, hmm. moving about. They, they seem to uh, be talking to the orcs, uh, discussing. Oh, plus there's four other um, unique individuals that are in uh, what would look like town, uh, town guard garb that had just rolled into camp a little bit before you got there. An odd collection of people, don't you think? Do they look like they're geared up for a fight? They look like they're a rough and tumble crowd. The five orcs definitely are geared up for that. The uh, four... Uh, town's guard, of course, are, um, you know, armed and geared in such a way to take on um, battle. Uh, the others, it seems to be a mixture of uh, some that are armor clad and some that are not. Uh, we're agreed that we can't take all of these people in a fight, right? Oh. Uh, I guess. Uh, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Alright, did my picture change? It did change. Alright, cool. I forgot to do that. Uh, sorry, I was distracted. Uh, <clears throat> we could try talking to them. The town's guard seems to be talking to everybody here, like, just fine. Well, they they all seem to be talking to each other. Uh, some seem to be, uh, let's see here, forcefully negotiating, it would seem. Aggra I shouldn't say forcefully, but aggressively negotiating, where others are more uh, sitting back passive, but still negotiating. <sighs> So on the one hand, uh, you know, we could just try talking to them. On the other hand, uh, if there are people in those bags, uh, talking to them may not be a good plan. Well, I would assume the town guard is here to talk to them. Uh, why don't we just see how that goes? Uh, and if they get to a fight, we can pitch in then. Because if the town reason. guard isn't here to fight them, if they don't give them the people back, uh, we're probably going to lose. And I'm all for dying heroically, but uh, I haven't done very much yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have a destiny to fulfill. Uh, and I'm going to be down if I'm going to let you kill yourself before you get there. Uh, I need the contacts that you're going to make for it. 
All right. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we kind of observe. Uh, okay. Then uh, give me a perception check. Hmm, certainly. I've only got like a plus two to this, so you're probably better, better off rolling it. I also have a plus two. Oh, <laughs> all right, you roll it again. <laughs> um, Brand Team Scout. Plus 15. Three. Yeah. <laughs> 15. Um, how far away from them are you positioning yourself? Uh, we talk to, oh, you're okay. talking to the, them. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Close enough to be able to hear them reliably. All right. Um, sight is less important than being able to hear them. Yep. And basically, the perception check was over for more or less uh, hearing. In what? Yeah. My mind. yeah. All right. So we'll say you're about 150 feet away. No problem here because they're not being overly quiet. They're pretty self assured in themselves. The tonage, you'll be able to tell that. Um, what languages do you understand? Uh, common, Elvish, Primordial, and Draconic. Okay. Uh, I think all I add to that is, uh, I think all I add to that is, uh, Orcish. Okay. With Orcish, from time to time, you'll pick up um, a few unique words uh, to the conversation. Uh, in common, you, you would hear um, what looks to be from the leader of the town's guard is from his lips, you'll hear there are the individuals your master asked for and the and the payment we expect to be true and full we expect you to leave less alone but yet for the delivery fees of us bringing them here we do desire some shiny compensation and for Morgoth, you'll hear uh, one of the orcs uh, in a more of a hushed tone say, these fools. Okay. I'll, I'll whisper uh, to uh, Hellion. Seems like to me that those two in the bags are sacrifices to the orcs. Uh, fortunately, we may have an opportunity to rescue them as the guards are idiots and about to get themselves into a fight. All right. Well. Uh, let's see here. You have the message cantrip? I do you not. Cause, uh, you could have caused so many problems if you had the message cantrip right now. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, I will cast Mage Armor on myself using my invocation, uh, just in case things should go sideways. Okay. Um, we'll assume that you did that prior to creeping on up. I mean, she probably, in all honesty, uh, does it. Like, she can do it at will, so she probably does it at the start of every day. I just hadn't mentioned it, so I thought now would be a good time. Um, yeah, I mean... What's the plan here? Wait for the fight to start. Sneak in. I'm not going to be able to carry either of those bags if I've got people in. Wait, you can't move bags? I mean, I can drag them. Alright, well, my plan was to uh, heroically join the fight and distract them while you snuck the hostages off and then uh, go from there, but that seems kind of like a short plan. I mean, I could open the bags and free them and get them to run off. Oh, there we go. That's a better idea. All right. Let's go with that. All right. So describe to me what uh, you're going to attempt to do. 
And um, just for um, saving graces, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> yeah. That's routine. Oh my goodness. I guess I'll roll in one of those nights. Wait, am I gonna all right. I was worried that I was gonna have the highest initiative at nine. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Oh damn. Uh, and, uh, okay. And we got the cup. And then we have after cup comes more gas. Cup rolled a six. He's after yeah, Morgan. I, 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 I see that. I got it down here. Oh, you're going out the other way. I understand. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Hellion. All right. And let's uh, go. Um, we'll go in the. Uh, yeah, we'll go in the initiative order that I got here. Um, Hellion, you're at the top. Yeah, I think our plan, uh, certainly on uh, for Hellion and Morgoth, is to wait for a distraction. Or well, certainly Hellion's plan is to wait for a distraction before she does anything. Uh, so she's just staying low um, and I guess holding an action um, to... Oh take the dash action um, when uh, when a fight breaks out. Um, she'll run over to where the bags are uh, and start to set people free. All right. And then we'll go to uh, Morgoroth. Uh, about how far away are we again? Uh, 150 feet. 150 feet. Okay. I'll go to move 30 feet closer uh, stealthily as I do so. I'm just right. drawing uh, two hand axes as I go. Okay, give me a uh, stealth check. Uh, 18. No uh, sorry, uh, 20. I have a plus four, not a plus two. Okay, no problem. It's still, it, the 16 would have been fine for, <laughs> for uh, as far as that. Uh, so you get you go up uh, 30, uh, 30 more feet, so you're at 120 feet away from the camp. Uh, as far as that, you can see a little bit better between the flames of the light and the bodies moving around the camp and the trees. And the shrub, so you got a little bit better visual than your partner. And All right. Doing anything else? Uh, no. I think it took my action to take to make a stealth check. Yep. Ram. Um. So we heard them talking about money. Yep. You and also heard you also heard in the co in common uh, them uh, talking about uh, you know giving those sacks to the their master as requested at, in, as as far as that and, and they never said who the master was but right the, the, the captain um, let's see what else. If you understand Orcish, you'll hear... Which I don't. Okay. But I do understand Abyssal. Okay, but... All right. But they're not talking in Abyssal. So. Um, 
I look over to now. Right now, I was sitting up at about seventy feet away. Oh, okay. So just out of their vision range. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to lean over and whisper in, in uh, Cup's ear. Uh, I still have the darkness option. Um, okay. Cup seems to think about that for a moment. And then uh, just kind of shakes their head um, very slightly. Yes or no? No. Um, and then kind of raising two taloned hands up, kind of makes a motion of like with pointer finger up in the right and left hand, just shows them sp just moving them away from each other. Um... As quietly as I possibly can, I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Okay. Uh, give me a sleight of hand. Let's do that. Okay. To see how deaf you are with your movements. Hmm. Let me see here. Okay. You think you managed. Um, Cup sees a shimmering frost appear around Bran. All right. That will be my turn this turn. And as you were doing that, there, there was a couple of individuals in the camp, the half giants and uh, one of the orcs that stand up and they're looking around like they heard something. They're scanning their sector. When when they react like that, yep. I would like to use mimicry to make it sound like a local bird. All right, like fly us off or make some noise and flies. Okay, but uh, let me see here. I roll <laughs> their perception, and uh, as far as that, uh, and do your yeah. Uh, for your mimicry, give me yep. either a deception or... Yep, 15. All right, that's about the... They kind of look like they may be buying it, but not too sure. Okay. Uh, as far as that, they're looking around. They haven't alerted any of the other... Yeah, any, any, as, long, as long as they're still second-guessing themselves, I'm fine with it. As, as far as that, and... The rest of them are still in that discussion, uh, negotiation, as far as that. You do see the two half giants move closer to the bags, though. Okay. Um, top of the order, Hellion. Uh, Hellion will move up stealthily next to uh, next to Morga. Morga. Uh, yep. uh, we're looking at a 17 on the stealth trip. All right, that's no problem. Wait. Oh, yeah. 17. No, no. I guess it's worth noting that the other two players may have heard a local bird. Probably. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Basically. 
yeah. so you can roll you can roll contested insights against it uh yeah. anybody who hears it uh yeah no. like that <laughs> yes i believe it's a bird <laughs> that's a bird the plane oh uh, yeah me too okay like neither of us is playing all some base characters so so it'll work every time is what i'm hearing yep Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Right, right. Um, but that's uh, Hellion. Are you doing uh, anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, more grass. You're up. Uh, I have a little bit of a rules question. Uh, uh, 5e doesn't address stealth in combat very much at all. Uh, I think as long as I don't do anything to break stealth, I can maintain the last stealth check I made. Is that correct? Well, as long as you don't move, yes. Moving would break it too? It could. Yeah, going through the underbrush of the woods. That, okay. That's why on that I would uh, say it would. I'd give you advantage, but uh, unless it was really something very noisy. Uh, that you were going over or something, but uh... I stealthily play of my bagpipes through the woods. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll just move forward thirty feet again then. Stealthy right. as I go. Okay, and that's uh, that puts you at uh, your one hundred and twenty. That'll put you at ninety. Feet away. And cup. Uh, cup maintains his current position from the end of last session, which was close enough to hear some stuff, but not necessarily super close. Um, I might even be further back than than Brand, but it sounds like maybe we'll say that we're next to each other, so it'd be within five feet of that. Um, all right. And, what's your and and all cup is all cup is doing is listening. What yeah. he cares about most is what they're literally talking about in this. Um, and what's uh, your pa uh, what's your passive uh, perception? Eleven. Okay, so you didn't notice. So. Okay. Um, give me just a second. Minus thirteen, just to let you know. Oh, okay, you didn't know. You wouldn't have noticed either. Uh, is it? Is it fair to assume, however, that I am rolling perception to hear the conversation, or are you saying that I, or will you give me some amount based on my passive perception and distance? Well, it's not the, on the, about the conversation I'm using it for. That's totally fair. What I'm wondering is, if I'm taking my turn in this initiative sort of thing, should I roll a perception for hearing the conversation, or are you just going to give it to me? I'll, I'll, you you picked up the conversation the other time. I'm not going to say that you're not picking it up. Okay. Uh, this time, uh, you're. I'm not going to say you're going to get it verbatim. Sure, getting, that's totally fine. <laughs> getting the major gist of it because there's just too many voices mm -hmm. to get it. Verbatim. So then, perhaps I will focus on something in particular. The Tieflings and humans. Okay. Do they seem to be speaking in a way that implies they are working for the guards, or are they, a th or is this three parties talking? You, uh, you will notice there's they're not doing too many ver uh, too much verbal talking. Mm -hmm. Um. And once in a while, you can't re even make out what it, what it is um, that they're saying. And between that and kind of, you'll see that they move their hands in certain ways. Uh, it could give mm -hmm. you the impression that there's three different parties, uh, possibly four involved. Okay. Bran kind of looks back at you. Mm -hmm. They're discussing money. They're right now. They haven't settled on things. 
I can disrupt this and throw them into chaos. I think now is the time to strike. We don't know who's going to fight who. That's my point. And if we find out that we get the captain of the guard and the guards killed? They just sold our friends. As far as I'm concerned, they deserve to die. <laughs> to protect the city? They deserve to die to do... They, they give up two people to protect an entire city? I wouldn't give up one. You're not 100% sure that they're your friends yet, either. True. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Uh, um, you do have strong inclinations that it is. So. What cup says? What cup says is? I will assist you in this matter. May I recommend hit and run then? Okay. I think we can get away. Yes. Where okay. Should we reconvene? Oh. Uh, when I cast my spell, move up as quietly as you can, okay? I wave my hand like, no, no, no. When we split, inevitably split up during this conflict, where do we reconvene? Oh, uh, we pass through a, uh, a little bit of uh, creative license here. We pass through a little small clearing on the way here. Do you remember it? I nod slowly. Either there or um, at the uh, slavers, uh, the, the shack on the beach that has the secret tunnel. I nod. And I one or the other. That one. Um, okay. One or the other. Uh, and don't enter the clearing. Stay on the border. All right. So again... This is what I want to do, since I'm sort of pulling up last. Well, you're not last. The monsters are, but... Oh. <laughs> okay, roll worse than one. Got it. Oh, <laughs> they rolled... Uh, both, of, uh, both of them rolled one, but uh, I'll defer in initiative order to the um, player. That's fair. That's fair. I am going to cast uh, Darkness... Now, darkness here. Let me pull it up real quick. I'll need a point that you're going to do it at. He's trying to figure out that. Uh, well, well, first. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll have to move up. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, not much. Um, I'm so to the center of the camp where the where the sacks are. How much do I need to move? Well, you're 90 feet away from No, we were 70 feet. 70? Oh, okay. I was thinking you were 90. Maybe. Yeah, uh, Arthur and, and uh, Ryan were 90. Okay. Closer. Well, you'd have to move up 10 feet. Uh, and if you're going to try to get the sacks, then you're not going to get the uh everybody in the camp uh, you, you'll have you'll miss the uh, captain and his crew and about three of the uh, orcs if i offset it one way or the other can i get the captain and the orcs yes but you wouldn't get the bags at all period Damn it. Because there's, there's a couple giants that are close to there. <sighs> if I cast it on, uh, essentially on the captain, how many people can I dump in the darkness? Uh, you could probably dump 
all but the two half giants and two of the uh, dirty hand, uh, two, uh, two of the humans will say. That's good odds. All right. Friends like two half giants and two humans. That's good odds. Cut yeah, that, those machine. are good odds. One half giant, bad, <laughs> bad odds. <laughs> but hey, you all know. right. With, with with that information, I will dump my darkness on the uh, the biggest group that I can get. All right, that'll leave. And I'm gonna, if I can offset it just a little tiny bit, favoring going towards the bag. So if they move towards the bag, there'll be more darkness. If they move away from the bag, there'll be less darkness. Like a two foot offset or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It, it won't be much. Uh, I'll try to work with it. Thank you. <laughs> so, darkness. And in case it wasn't obvious, I am wearing the goggles of night, but um, it is dark. So, that's all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you hear an uproar <laughs> in the camp. The light from the fire goes out from the campfire. Um, Hellion and Morgoth. Um, you see nothing but blackness. Uh, cup, you see nothing but blackness except for the, uh, and this go, uh, and this description also goes for Morgareth and uh, Hellion. Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you there, Charles. Uh, Hellion can actually see through magical darkness. Okay, then. <laughs> I have the invocation. Okay, no problem. Then work with me here. You'll, you'll yeah. still see through it, but <laughs> uh, the only thing that uh, you would see normally, and I'm not talking to Hellion, but the rest of you that aren't looking with uh, Devil Sight uh, or something akin, um, you, you'll uh, see the two half giants and the um, two um, humans that are kind of close to them and the two bags, but around the feet of the bag and towards the uh, two humans uh, is more like a, a dimish light, uh, giving them light as obscurement. And the others in the group are jumping up. They're running about trying to figure out what the hell and uh, with that, let me see here. You roll initiative. Oh, wait, never mind. No. <laughs> okay. We're on their initiative. I, I, I was know. rolling percentage dice to see what they might do if they stay or if they run. Seems fair. Oh, uh, with that. And the two uh, humans kind of stay. They're trying to hide in the obscurement. You, uh, uh, the the kind of shadow light that's left on the outside rim. The um, two half giants seem to bend down and pick up the bags and dash off into the woods. Up to the top with Hellion. For the love of... <sighs> I mean, you did say that was the distraction, but also... <laughs> I kind of look um, at you, Hellion, and I say, this is perfect. It's just two half-giants we got to kill now. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh... You take one, I'll get the other. <laughs> sure, okay. Uh, I can do that. Uh, how far away from me are these half giants at this point? Well, you were, you guys were 90 feet from the camp. Uh, yeah, like, did they run towards us? Uh, no, they ran to the, uh, to the north, due north. So they'd be off to your right, to your east, basically on the map. We'll say they went, uh, you guys are here, and they kind of went like that. Uh, in fact, let me...
And Morgoth and I are which indication, sorry? Oh, you're the heart. The heart, yeah, okay. So they're not heading directly towards us, but they're kind of heading out the whole they're, way. They're, they're moving closer, I guess, but off at an angle. Yeah, they're a little bit closer than they started, I guess. Yeah. Um, and, are uh, they within 90 feet of me still? Uh, yeah, I'll say you know, they were within 90 feet of you when they started, when, when all this started. Uh, cool. As far as that, uh, let's see here. Let me find my stats for these guys. But go ahead. Uh, I will hex the closest one to me. Uh, she kind of mutters in uh, a language that I'm guessing people don't understand, but um, it's a variation of the primordial, the name of which does not come to my mind. Um, it's fine. Ignan? Yep, thanks. Uh, the bracelet on her wrist glows um, as magic whips out from her bracelet. Um, from the crystal in her bracelet, at least, uh, and wraps itself around her target, who she will then Eldritch Blast, I guess. Uh, right, let me see here. Get my eyes on here. Okay, let me see where this was stuff was. Oh, yes, my fire dance. All right, that gives me enough to work with, I think. Okay. And uh, on your hex, is there a saving throw? No, no, no it just it just takes effect. Um, no, no they will have disadvantage on um, on perception. On sorry, I say on perception on wisdom based skill checks. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, just to kind of uh, make them less likely to be able to spot us as we move through the woods. Um, uh, yeah, and as this magic wraps around him, she draws her hand once again over the crystal that's set into her bracelet. Um, and as she does, uh, an Eldritch Blast starts to form in her hand, but Morgrath will note that kind of surrounding the Eldritch Blast are uh, wisps of fire. Um, and she'll fire off the Eldritch Blast for a 19 to hit. Well, a 19 will hit. All right, so we're looking at eight points of force and two points of fire damage. Eight, so ten points. Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't sure like if they were half fire giants or something, they would have resistance to no, fire. Was, uh, uh, well, how much uh, knowledge do you have of giants? Let's put it that way. Uh, fire giants. Uh, not she not was not fire. Uh, giants in general, not a lot, but she would know enough to recognize fire giants. Yeah, well, they don't look like fire giants. Excellent. Good. Because uh, <laughs> she is very much armed towards uh, fire damage. <laughs> I have to put some element in there. Uh, yeah. Um, 10 points of damage total. Um, Let me write that down before I forget it. 10. As far as that. And uh, the range of that is 120. 120. Yeah, because they did run off. So, oh, yeah, I figured uh, you said they were within ninety feet for hex yeah. to have been able to take effect. So when the stuff that uh, was going on, I just uh, she's also going to move. Um, I can't remember the word. I don't think it's perpendicular. Um, she's going to move at a similar kind of uh, trajectory to them, uh, thirty feet. All right. They seem, uh, they do seem to be outpacing you, though. Uh, that's fine. Uh, just, um, just saying. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, 
bold that. That seems fair. All right. That's there. And so I guess to uh, cut um, Bram, uh, you, you, there's a good chance that he sees Bram running. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, what I was going to say is uh, it's likely that you see this half elf uh, pretty fancily decked out, uh, but but jump out of the bushes and start firing his magic towards the, the half giants that run off with the sack. Mm. Uh, assuming you can see through the darkness, of course. Yes, I can. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, yeah. Wait, did I not? No. Uh, turns they... out I did not take that invocation. I thought I did. And yeah. about the time that you get done with your Eldritch Blast and stuff, you, you see that it hit the one, it seemed like it hit something. And then from there, um, you kind of lose sight of. Uh, the giants. Hmm, unfortunate. Oh, that's fine. Like I, I'm just saying that's what. Uh, not saying you can't track them, can uh, you, But as far as with everything there, your your perception and all the uh, trees that are in between at their eighty foot movement. Uh, because they're dashing, that uh, puts them kind of outside of your sight from where you were that when you casted things. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Um... As as far as that, um, you done with your actions there, Hellion? Uh, yes. Uh, just to note, okay. uh, it turns out I don't have double sight. I thought I'd taken the invocation, but I actually looked at what was on the character sheet, and apparently I didn't. Uh, so, you know, that's fine. Um, it's not like I've forgotten in the last hour what I chose. Perfect. Well, they weren't in, in the darkness anyway, so yeah. they were in the obscurement and such. And... Yeah, no, no, I just uh, wanted to let you know. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, uh, honest, honest, uh, clerical error as far as that especially when throwing the characters together uh, i know we all have t uh, we got a lot of characters we play a lot <laughs> you can get those things confused so uh morgara how far away am i from the half giants the half giants uh are they went 80 feet, you were 90 feet, so 170 feet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so if I go 60 feet closer, that'll be 110 away. All right, I'll sprint uh, 60 feet in their direction. Okay. Uh, yelling at the top of my lungs in Orkish. Uh, what that their you? mother is a goat and their father smells of elderberries. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, fantastic. What languages do these idiots have? A giant one with a scheme. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I picked Orcish because I was assuming, so they, since they were hanging out with the orcs, they probably at least understand it, uh, at least as far as insults are concerned. So we'll see. No, that's that's fine. The logic right? behind it works. It just it is what it is. I'm I'm just double checking what they were. Um. Okay, and that and that's all you that you're doing, right, Morgara? Uh, yeah, I can only go uh, sixty feet. Okay. Cup, you see this individual. Um. Kind of run after the giants going past and leaving the two humans there and uh, yelling some insults that you uh, don't necessarily understand 
And oh yeah, and I'll note my picture has armor, uh, but I don't actually have any armor yet. Barbarians don't start with it as starting equipment, uh, so he's got like some furs, and that's about it. Okay. So you see th that individual running there. You see this funny bolt of light and fire that shot out from about the same general direction and hit something into the woods. So there's the scene as it lays. Oh, I guess if he has knowledge of mercenaries, I do have a mercenary uniform on. Okay. okay. Interesting. Um... <clears throat> What I would like to do, because let's see, I'm about 70, 65, something like that. 75 maybe in camp. What I would like to do is move in the same direction that the half giants are going. Okay. But curve early and try to put myself between their camp being the you know the well the we'll say the campfires and the darkness okay so you you're trying and to... those half giants well the half giants are up about here the... um brian can see they're going, you they're going in that direction they're not that far i mean brian can see you and say you are the fastest go <laughs> but yeah okay yeah um i will cross correct them um, I will try to get past not just the camp, but also the ogres, the half giants. I apologize. Um, well, the half giants are out there pretty far. They uh, they're moved. They're, they moved what? Uh, One hundred and twenty feet out. They moved eighty feet. They dashed. Okay, they dashed eighty feet. Yep. So I'm gonna move ninety. With my dash. Okay. And then I'm going to spend a key point bonus action dash again okay. to move 135 feet and get around them. Good God. Them. <laughs> All right. No problem. Uh, and fire's trailing on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, so so the, these, these half giants, they pick this stuff, they start running, and then this bird just... <laughs> I'm there now. <laughs> Just uh, like come around the side. I'm there now. <laughs> so that is suck up everything you got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my entire turn. <laughs> yep, Bran. So right when the shouting started, right after the uh, darkness fell, I ran 30 feet. Yeah, uh, and I posted that on the um, Discord. Um, Not on the Discord. On the roll twenty. On the roll twenty. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm imagining myself sort of in the camp or at the edge of camp. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, you'd be on the edge of your darkness spell. You'll see that you'll definitely see the two uh, humans that you missed that are standing there. They'll definitely see you. You saw this uh, crazy well, individual run towards the... Uh, giant screaming in a strange language. You saw the uh, flash of light would fire around the edges go in that same general direction. And you saw flash the incredible bird. <laughs> yes. I am going to yell in common. Guards, now! Spring the trap now! Kill all the orcs! Kill them! And then I'm going to continue running 60. Right. Well, oh. what which uh, direction are you running? I'm, I'm I'm following the giants. Oh, okay. So everybody's following the giants. But ultimately, right there, when I'm sort of near the center of the of the camp, I'm 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 uh, like I said, I, I said in common to guard, spring the trap, kill all the orcs, very very loud, what? yelling. Talk that right now. I'm setting up. Uh, I'm setting up all the attacks. Yep. 
He's got a monk. Okay. As far as that. Boom. All right. And let's do it again. Actually, I just realized, Charles, you might have not described to Ryan and Arthur how many people were in the camp in total. We did. I he thought did. I did. Okay. That uh, there was 21. Okay. But well, given sure. that neither of us is going into the camp, we're probably, it's probably fine. I mean, sure. Okay. Right. I'm just making sure because yeah, no, he, he mentioned changes it. to what you decided to do. All right. I got, uh, let's see here. Is that a crit or not? Because I'm doing <laughs> a disadvantage. Let's see here. Great. That's a miss, the first one. I, he's not talking about us. They're fighting amongst themselves. No, I'm talking about y'all, too. <laughs> We're all, everybody's in this pandemonium. Yeah. You made a mistake. <laughs> and Cup knows it. So if anyone hits Bran, let me know. Oh, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. If it, that's what he's figuring out. Because they're in the darkness. They're, bl and they're fighting blindly, so it's at disadvantage. So that's a, that would be a definite mess. That would be a mess. That would be a, a mess. As far, and when I'm counting misses, I'm counting you guys because I, I don't think you guys have AC 11 or lower. No. No. Quite. That's a miss. That's a miss. Well, that may be a hit and that may be a hit. So there may be two. So there's what for you? Uh, Let's see here. Let me clear these out. Since we got Speedy Gonzalez going there, I'll make him number one on the four sided. Number two will be his partner in crime, Brand. Number three will be the Wild Barbarian. And number four will be our. Aren't I pretty far away from the camp? You say what? Like, I'm 150 from the camp. Yeah. All right. It just seems like the monk is closer to the uh, big dudes than I am, and the camp is, you know, in darkness and everything. Uh, and I'm a distance away from them. I'm not quite sure who would be attacking me. Well, it would be maybe an arrow. You shouted, which maybe they decided it was something to attack. Number two, which is Bran. Good choice. Unsurprisingly, Bran also shouted <laughs> maybe something to attack. And does a... Uh, that's a... Let's get over to their stat. Uh, okay. And that should be to hit. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong doggone thing. I need the orcs. Okay. Um, yeah, does a 17 hit you? Yes. It does. Okay. And on the second one, let's see here. We'll roll D4. And number four. Does, and that would be Hellion. Oh, yeah, that would be Hellion. Doesn't doesn't eighteen hit you? Certainly does. Okay. Now, what am I being hit with? What are you being hit with? An arrow. It's a stray arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, they didn't have the. I'll, I'll it's honest. definitely not a well aimed one. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just looking up a spell quickly. Um, You'll take uh, three points of piercing damage. And what about oh, Bran? Okay. And I'm doing Bran now. Yo, Bran, you'll take uh, seven points of piercing damage. I will take four points. Okay. But uh, that was what's going on with all the chaos that was there. Uh, let's see here. 
and then they uh, the uh, two humans will be they see Bran rush off they see Morgrath rush off they see the chaos going there with the darkness uh, they rush off towards the south towards left and then uh, from there the uh, stone uh, the half giants um, will dash again for 80 and that will bring us up to Hellion uh, yeah so the they've moved another 80 I'm probably not going to be able to get them. Uh, the giants are more than 120 feet away from me at this point, right? Yes. Hmm, that is unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, it depends on your perspective. It's a, it's very fortunate for them. Well, that is maybe. Um, I want to go find out uh, who's firing off longbows because uh, somebody's going to pay for hitting me. Well, you'll notice that nobody's firing off longbows, but you do see short bows. Great. Uh, who's firing a short bow? All of the orcs. Wait, are they in darkness? Yes, they are. All right, so I can't see them. Okay. Um, All those arrows and whatnot that were coming out, it's from the darkness. <laughs> great. Because they're trying to attack because... Someone hollered, the trap set, kill the orcs. They are so lucky I don't have access to fireball yet. Um, all right, I'm going to uh, hold an action to Eldritch Blast. Uh, anybody that I see uh, that comes out of that darkness looking... Uh, dangerous. All right. No problem. More graph. I'll run 60 feet after the half giants. All right. You off to your right. And just behind <laughs> you, you notice this hulking warrior running in the same direction that you're running. Um, just to let you know. So Was he one of the people that I saw with the orcs? No. Hey, you. We got us. Those half giants have some people in sacks. Yeah, those are our friends. We're trying to save them. Great. I'm here to help. <laughs> Uh, tell your uh, tell your buddy over there to get the hell out of there. Once they figure out what's going on, I wouldn't want to stay there. Um, uh, Hellion's gonna do what Hellion's gonna do. Uh, that one's got a mean vengeance streak. He's not kidding. Okay. I think I saw somebody shoot him, shoot him with an with an arrow. So uh, Hellion yeah, was, probably won't be leaving until after that. That was an accident. They hit, they hit me too, but they weren't aiming. Uh, yeah, try telling that to Hellion. Yeah, her personality, one of her personality traits is uh, something like uh, something about salting fields of those that insulted me. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, the find the family of that orc that shot you and burn it down to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yep, so hell you don't get out what, what, what the feel like it. All right. She oh. was raised by the Afrit. She doesn't take insult laying down. Cup, you're up. Um, I've made my way in front of these things. Yep. Maybe I have to move a bit to really put myself in view of both of them. So I will. Uh, I want to be within 30 feet of both of them and not with anybody else. Uh, especially, in, well, actually, yes, literally no one else. Um, and I will make a sound 
that sounds somewhere between a combination of um, a human screaming in death, a animal doing the same, and a bird call um, of some strange wolf howl combo. What I need both of them hell? to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what the hell? That's weird. Hey, didn't somebody hex one of these guys? Yep. Uh, yeah, me. Hello, look at that. So oh, we'll he chose go. wisdom. It's a wisdom save, though. It doesn't affect hex. Oh, that's right. It doesn't have the. Uh, damn it. Yeah, unfortunately. All right. My DC is preload, too. But we'll see. The one that was hex, he got a 15. Succeeds. And. Well, I'm wrong. It's an eight. I forgot he he, he was hexed. So uh, hex doesn't give disadvantage on saving throws. It's only on um, check, like skill check. All right. Then what I'll do is the the one that wasn't hexed. This is how I'll play it since I rolled two, uh, thinking there's disadvantage. Um, the one saved and one didn't. Yeah, the one that wasn't hexed, he saved. The one that was, he failed. Uh, I'm sure an eight fails. <laughs> yes, an eight does fail. Um, uh, and so it is now frightened of me, the one that failed the save, until the end of my next turn. And the there's a number of penalties for that, but the main thing is that it can no longer move closer to me. I mean, it must stop or try to go around me or otherwise. Yep. Um, I will then take my action to dodge. Oh, no. It was my action to do the effect. Never mind. Yep. I will take my bonus action to dodge oh, um, okay. as a key point and will move to try to kind of bridge the gap for where they might want to move. So uh, in this case, I would move to the right, I believe, right, so right. that the one up. that failed the save, as well as the other one, is between me and uh, Morgrath. Yeah, Morgrath uh, is bringing up the rear, uh, but right. So I'm basically lining it up so that if he wants, so if the one that is f frightened of me wants to run away from me, they have to run closer to Morgrath. Or um, one of my other eyes, but um, you get the idea. Yeah, kind of, sort of. All right, Bran. I am going to run 60 feet. I'm going to turn and yell at uh, Helen. I don't know who you are, but get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm booking. All right. And these guys, these two guys will be dashing. And the one sees cup and is petrified so he immediately takes a hard turn to the north north west up this way the other one is not scared of him and he is going to run right past him as as far as that uh I'm yeah. assuming past me is a fine right past term as opposed to into my reach and out of it. Well, he's going to run past your reach, but okay. As, as far as that, but um, but like your direction, he's not uh, he's not charging you. Let's put it that way. Right. And that is them and Hellion. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm now really wishing I uh, could see through darkness so I could start blasting uh, everybody with a crossbow. Um, get back in a She does look somewhat distastefully at Bran for telling her what to do. Um, you get the impression she doesn't like being told what to do. That was a that was just a strong suggestion. Uh, yes. 
well. Uh, she passes a hand over the bracelet like she has done previously and casts Produce Flame. Uh, flame appears in her hand and she'll move off after Morgra. All right. Um, in that general direction. She's not dashing because she's not going to get there anytime soon. Yeah. Um, but you're going. You're still going in the same general direction as the rest of. Actually, the wait. Does that use concentration? Ah, oh, it does not. It's just ten minutes. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, she's moving in that direction with the uh, flickering flame in her hand. Oh, okay. More ground. Doesn't seem to hurt her. It's shedding light, but that's about it. Okay. More ground. You run okay. sixty feet towards the closest giant. All right, which one? You uh, you see one split off and go to the north northwest, and you see the other one still traveling towards this uh, uh, bird like figure. I run sixty feet towards the closest giant. Okay, which one? One peeled off. They're both about the same. That is, I just need a, a general sense of which way you're going to go. If you have care. a preference here, Arthur, uh, Cup is moving towards the one that didn't split off from him. I don't know if that changes your decision making. Uh, here, I'll roll an intelligence check. All right, I'll run towards the one that Cup's headed towards because uh, I'm not going to be able to catch up to the other one. All right. And you're more or less right on it, uh, getting right on its tail. Um, and you see this big bird-like thing up ahead up and, uh, and like that. So, How far well, away am I from it? Oh, uh, we'll say you're 60 feet from it. All right. I know that's not really accurate for the chase rules, but we're not going to, I'm not going to string this along for 10 minutes of chasing just to get caught up until someone puts a roadblock in their way. Just not going to happen. So, Cup. All right. Cup moves away from the one he just frightened moves around to get back in front of the one that wasn't frightened and does the exact same thing, this time adding in, um, we'll say, a dying cow. <laughs> Roll wisdom save for it. A 10. Fails. It is also frightened of me until the end of my next turn. Oh. The other one is going to no longer be frightened of me at the end of this turn, however. Um all right. And uh, that is my action, and I will not use my bonus action for anything this round. Bram. Um, running down this path. Uh, you can see how many folk up there a bit, uh, Phil. Okay, running down in this through the forest. Yep. Um, I can see as much as I can up to up to 120 feet. Yeah. Uh, I know the cup is in front of me, and this guy was following Cup. I also noticed that the giant went off to the right. Well, um, one, one went off to the left, the north, left. Okay. west, and, uh, and then you hear... I'm going to follow the one to the left, then. That's the closer one to you. All right. No, left. Just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And then... <laughs> That uh, one that went off to the north northwest, he'll dash again, 80 feet. And uh, the one that was frightened of you will dash 80 feet, but he will go directly east off this way. Damn. Yep. 
Uh, in fact, sounds about right. Let me do this. I can. Oh, come on! Oh, I should be able to. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'll just erase that, and then I'll redraw it. Yeah, we have one that's going that way. Also, at this point in time, one going this way. I'm going to stop concentrating on my darkness spell so they can see each other and kill each other in good sight. Oh, <laughs> oh kind of. Right. And there, the two giants are going in those respective directions. And then hell oh. yeah. Uh, sorry, Charles, did you say it was my turn? Yes, I did. Uh, do I notice the darkness vanish behind me? Give me... Uh... No, I ain't going to have you roll a perception check. Um, what's your passive? 12. Yes, you notice it. Excellent. Uh, looking back, how many people do I see with short bows? Um, you see one person with a short bow standing. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to make my way back over. Looking at the arrow that struck me. Um, it is orcish. Orcish. Is the person standing at all? Yes, he is. Uh, does this arrow seem to have any... Um, Anything that I think would be an identifying mark. I know some archers will mark their arrows so that when they can, uh, when they, after a battle, they can kind of reclaim their own. You'll see a little um, black hand etched on the shaft. Excellent. Uh, I don't really want to get close enough to this guy for that. So. Uh, probably be inappropriate to just Eldritch Blast the Orc. Uh, she'll look at the Orc um, and say to him in common, uh, Hey you, uh, this arrow belong to you? Uh, she indicates the black hand. She'll move 30 feet back towards him. Okay. Alrighty, and that will bring us to uh, Morgoth. Uh, am I closer to one of the giants? How far away are the giants from me? Half giants, sorry. Well, the, uh, the one that you were chasing split off and went to the west, but he's um, about 60 feet from you. Uh, and is the other one farther away? Yes. He went to the north-northwest, uh, north-north, yeah, yeah north-northwest. Um, and he dashed 80 feet uh, when he, he did that. The, uh, this other one dashed 80 feet going to the west. So, mm. respectively on the map, the way the arrows looked is the general directions, not the scaled uh, distance. Uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, with my object in direction, I'll pull a great X as I dash next to the one that is 60 feet away from me. So if I move and dash, I can get adjacent to him, and I will bonus action rage. Okay, we'll put you here on this one going to the west. Or east, rather, not the west. 
All righty. Brian. No, cup. My bad. Not a problem. <clears throat> so free action. I'll tell the uh, I'll tell the half giant. Uh, fight me if you dare. I'm all of like five foot six. <laughs> right. <clears throat> um. Cup not understanding that. Uh, kind of moves. This is a bit interesting. Moves to the north side of that half giant that Morgrath just moved next to. Noticing that Morgrath seems to kind of getting ready to really bring it to this thing. Um, okay. You see this kind of uh, bird with these goggles over its eyes um, run up, look at you and say, this one's for you then. Um, <clears throat> and we'll make four? <clears throat> is it four? <clears throat> How many attacks to make? Yes, four unarmed strikes against it. <coughs> Does a 16 hit? Well, let me see here. Uh, 16. No. Okay. 19 hit. Yes. <coughs> it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's foolish. <laughs> I, Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Nobody said that Cup was wise. 15. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, 15 saves. Um, it will still take damage. Nine bludgeoning. Okay. <clears throat> uh, third attack. 15 misses. Fourth attack. 10 misses. Okay. Useful. Um, yeah. Uh... I, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I might have advantage. Give me a second. Yeah, is flanking a thing? Uh, I don't know if it is, no. but I was thinking of the frightened condition. I think he has disadvantage. Uh, frightened gives them disadvantage on a number of things. Yeah, it doesn't. Back uh, rolls and ability checks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. Um, so I, I, I hit one good hit in. Keeps moving. And I just kind of shrug and use the rest of my movement to go towards the other one. Which does provoke, because I did not disengage. And you will notice something that uh, you're not expecting. He doesn't try to hit you. Fair enough. <clears throat> I mean, he is scared of me, so that seems only reasonable. <laughs> Anyway, he ain't yes. scared of you now. Not anymore. Um, how close am I to my giant? Uh, and isn't the force slowing his slowing him down? Well, technically it is, but it's also throw, uh, slowing you down. But not if I'm following him. It's not. <laughs> well, but it, anyway, technically, it, so I'm not messing with yeah. a lot of the difficult terrain aspect um, just to make the chase run a little smoother but I, I'll say he's 60 feet ahead of you and you were after this one uh, all right as my free bonus interaction I'm gonna draw my great sword okay I'm gonna move 60 feet up next to him okay and I'm gonna say in common we need to deliver this one to the master. Slow down. I'm getting tired. It doesn't seem like it affects him. Damn it. That he under, more, I shouldn't say affect. Uh, it doesn't seem like he understands what you said. Oh. Oh, well, I tried. Yeah. No, it, it's fair. Fair. And he will go ahead and he's going to go ahead and dash another 80 feet. And so, I'll... slow down. If I was next to him, now he's going to outdistance me. Yeah. But I can at least get a... Um... I'll let you have an attack of opportunity. And I miss. Okay. And, and this is not the one I'm next to, right? No. no. And... Um... 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I had to make constitution saving throws on them. Okay. And that will bring us up to Hellion. Uh, did the orc that asked the question to ever answer me? No, he didn't. What was rude of him? All right, I threw the flame in my hand then. Say what? The produced flame that I still have going in my hand? Yep, yep. That I throw it in. Oh, okay. Just shoot me with a bow. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, it's a natural 20. Okay, then roll me percentage dice. Percentage dice? Yeah. Uh, 89. 89, okay. And uh, roll me a D10. D10. Um, I just broke that. Where's it gone? That's uh, it. Uh, six, you said? Yep. All right. Uh, roll three. Uh, Three times, uh, three times the damage. So it would normally be a d8. So I should roll three d8. Yep, and he is stunned for six turns. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so we're looking at uh, some attack rolls. So I can have that. Uh, that's ten and six and two is eighteen points of fire damage. Okay. Um, and yeah, I guess it's done as well. Look at as this flame. Uh, you notice as she draws her hand back to throw it, she passes it once more over the bracelet, and the flame seems to increase in size because uh, she gets out of proficiency to one attack roll that hits. Um, uh, as long as she's being contacted that crystal, that is. All right. uh, yeah. Uh, just a little bit, just an additional two. All right, and then we'll have more graph. Sorry, is it my turn? Uh, no, it's not this. More, gra it's more grass. Oh, it's my turn? Okay. Did the half giant I'm next to never move? Uh, yes. He da he dashed 80 feet. Mm, I think I would have gotten an opportunity attack then because I was next to him, right? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And I'll, I'll give you give you that. Uh, 10 to hit. Misses. Right. Uh, I'll go 60 feet following him. Yay for me. Oh. That's it. Alrighty. And cup. Oh, back to me. Okay. You say so. A uh, couple make uh, their way towards the other uh Half giant that um, uh, Bran is harrying, <clears throat> um, and uh, based on movement, probably needs to dash to try to get in front of it. Oh, okay. Um, but and that's all. So that's all. Uh, yeah. So that's all. A couple do. A couple move right next to it, get in front of it, and uh, ready to fight it to see if it decides to fight him or not. And that's his turn. Okay, Brian. Right their turn, I should say. Well, unfortunately, the best I can do is I can move 60. All right. And I'm going to call out in uh, Abyssal. Stand and fight me, you dog. <laughs> All right. And that one will dash but it's going to veer off to more of the westerly side to try to avoid 
um, cup and the other one will dash going uh, east. And you notice you notice the bags on them are kind of squirming and kicking a little bit, but uh, they seem to be able to control them fairly well in the bags. And Hellion, uh, back up to me already. Okay. Uh... I'm going to move up uh, closer to this orc and see if I can get a look at one of his arrows while he's stunned. Oh, okay. You'll be able to do that. You'll uh, also see a bunch of other arrows and orcs and uh, you'll see a, a couple dead guards. You'll see a wounded captain of the city guard and you'll see some of the tieflings and humans and halflings that were in there that are de laying there uh, presumably dead for all you could tell uh, that's fine uh, the big question here is whether or not this orc's arrows have the same black hand on them yes his arrows have the same one oh, good uh, uh, are you checking any of the others no. Okay. Uh, Ryan understands that would be a smart thing to do. Uh, Hellion doesn't care. Uh, oh. As far as she's concerned, she's got all the proof she needs. Okay. Um, she will once again move a hand over the bracelet and she'll over it past this guy. Okay, you have advantage. Yes, sir. Uh, good, because the first one was a two. Uh, the second one's better at 17 on the dice for 23 total. Yep, that hits. Uh, ten. Well, we're looking at 16 points of total damage, uh, 14 of which is force, and two of which is fire. Okay, he looks pretty rough, but he's still standing. Uh, she gets right up close to him and says, uh, You're a great shooting me. Uh, and it'll be the last thing that you do. I will eat your eyes, he'll say. <laughs> and then more, more powerful beings than you have tried that. <laughs> more breath. I go 60 feet, end of turn. Okay. And, oh, I got something I got to do for him. Because he's been dashing. Come on. Roll, you dummy. Oh. Oops, if I hit the right one. Ooh. All right. I know what I got to do on this next one. As far as that, uh, cup. Ah, there we go. Uh, I punch. Rand says you need to slow him down. I can't get to him. Yep. I, uh, yeah, I guess punching him probably won't actually slow him down much. Depends on how well you hit him. Did this one run? Because I believe that would have provoked from me. He veered off out of your out of your range. Out of my way. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um. So I will. Yeah, I will follow this one, and I will strike four times. Okay. Crit twenty. Woo. Uh, roll. We'll deal with that first thing. Roll me some percentage. Sounds good. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, let's see here. Roll a deck save. Ooh, okay, he made that. Um, yeah, you get uh, 21 damage plus I had to uh, 
make a deck safe. So, so that normal uh, crit damage. Okay. Uh, wow, holy shit. Uh, 16 <laughs> bludgeoning. Okay. That is a lot of damage for a arm strike. <clears throat> um, and then it needs to make a constitution saving throw as well. The con modifier. Oh, right there. 12. 12 is the con save? That yep. still saves. I have a terrible save. Um, <laughs> no yeah, it's a con save uh, that he rolled. He gets a plus five. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I attack it again. Okay. Uh, 16 misses or maybe hits, but doesn't hurt him, presumably. Uh, you just barely rub off you hit the bag interesting <laughs> uh this is a yes yeah uh i'm going to draw my dagger because i have not used my object interaction i will attempt to cut the bag open from below all right. Um, yeah, we'll say that's a called shot. Seems fair. As far as that, so uh, should be easier than hitting the giant. It, yeah, at the very least, it can't sustain as much damage as the giant can. Uh, roll to hit. Yeah, go ahead. All right, seventeen. 17. You hit. Okay. Do the damage. Damage is five. Well, it's five slashing in this case. Okay. You cut a hole there, but it's not big enough for anything at this moment to fall through. But you do see what looks to be almost a um, Saw a uh, soft booted boot toe. Okay. So this is what I would like to do, and you can tell me whether it works or not. Monks normally cannot make four attacks unless two of the attacks are unarmed strikes um, at the cost of a key point. What I would like to do is say that the dagger, either say the dagger attack was one of my earlier attacks so that I can now make another, sorry, I would like to either say the unarmed strikes were my flurry attacks so that I can now make dagger attacks or um, take a flurry of blow action to attempt to grapple with the fourth attack. It's up to you how you feel about it. Um, I can I can post to you the exact wording for it if that makes you feel better. No, uh, um, it's all right. Um, we'll say the dagger attack was separate. You got your furry, uh, fury of blows. So you, if you want to give another attack due to that. Okay. I'll make a, another dagger attack then. Against the bag. Is it 15 hit? No. Okay. Then that is my turn. Okay. Bran. All I can do is move 60 feet and twiddle my thumbs. Next. Up. All right, 60 feet, you're up on so top. I, I have a question, and this is mostly for Phil, not necessarily Bran. Um, you have range attacks, right? I do, but if I use them, then he's definitely going to outdistance me. Because uh, I can only move 30, and then... That's definitely true, but you're never going to catch him by dashing. Yeah, but you slowed him down. 
I can't slow him down. I either have to stun him with a very lucky stunning strike or use fear, which can only change his trajectory slightly. Basically, I can give you about five feet or get lucky. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it next time. Where am I now, Game Master? You said I was next to him? Yeah, you're up to him. You're 60 feet to bring you up to him. All right. Then if he moves away, I'll have a reaction against him. Okay. All right. And you'll notice. Let's see here. I want to double check that to make sure I'm not. Okay. You notice he looks like he's getting tired. I'm probably getting tired too. And so um, he goes ahead and he tries to he tries to dash again. So and, give me just a second. Will a 16 hit? A what? Will a 16 hit? Oh. Damn it, these guys are tough. <laughs> well, the giants. But um, um it's, so how far does he move? He only moves 30 feet. Ha <laughs> ha! 40 feet rather. Oh uh, well. because he's trying to collect his wind. And the other one down there, he seems to be only moving about 40 feet. So that will bring us to Hellion. Uh, yep, I Eldritch Blast the sword. Okay, go ahead. I still have advantage on these attacks, right? Yes, you do. Okay, uh, double twelves for 18 to hit. Yes. Uh, once again, she's going to add the fire damage to this, passing the forming magic over the bracelet. Four, four, is eight, but ten points, two of which is fire. Okay. He's still standing. He's a tough booger. But he ain't looking too sweet, and he's just snarling and snapping back at you. More girth. I'll move and dash 60 feet towards the one that I've been chasing. Okay, you're up on top of him. All right, I'll stand right next to him and use my second rage. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. Cup. Francis, oh, grab the bag. Grab the bag. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I will attack the bag twice with my dagger. All right. 13 misses. 25 hits. Yep. Damage on the bag is six slashing. All right, the bottom between the weight inside and the hole that you've been successfully able to make, the bottom opens up and out falls a body. All right. <clears throat> I'll worry about whose it is later. But in this moment, um, I will um, bonus action flurry of blows the ogre. A half giant, sorry. Okay. 18 hit. Uh, yes, it will. And you throw a constitution saving throw. Annoying little mosquitoes. Oh, he fails. I guarantee that fails. That's only an eight. <laughs> that does fail. It's stunned. Yes. Okay. Anyway. I do get one final attack. Oh, and by the way, the 18 that I just rolled did six bludgeoning damage to him. Oh, thanks for letting me know that. I would have been really happy to let it slide. <laughs> uh, and then the last one misses. So, All right. And that is my turn. Brian, can I get up to him and attack? Yes, he's stunned. All right, I am going to... You have advantage on the attack. 
I am going to, um, with my bonus action, put my Hexblade Curse on him. Mm. And I'm going to be t attacking with um, advantage. Well, 15 hit. Uh, since he cannot move, I would say yes. He takes 17 slashing. Will a 24 hit? No. A 24? You ask a foolish question. I'm giving you a foolish answer. Yes, it hits. And another 17 slashing. All right. He uh, cast shield, blocking your attack. Describe your kill. So Bran, sweat pouring off of him, panting, uh, sees cup, cut the bite loose, hit the giant. The giant is stunned. Uh, runs up to the side of him, uh, does a slash on his shoulder, and then kind of spins around and slashes him across the uh, chest. All right. So that's it for Bran. And uh, the giant is tired. He slowed on down there, Morgrath. He turns around and he swings at you. Let's see. Does he hit? Boy, here we go. Uh, raging was probably the smartest thing you ever did. Yeah, I know. It's five and it's five rage the other time when I got next to him, too. Kissy wax me. Oh, let's see. I'm not sure. We'll see how hard these things hit, I guess. I'm about to get flattened. <laughs> As a level one character? Yeah, probably. Oh, you're a level one? Dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what characters come in at. They come in at level one. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. Uh, and uh, let me see here. And unfortunately, this character is a uh, born hero. <laughs> <laughs> Does a rogue death incoming. Does a twenty-four hit you? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, well, actually, sorry, sorry that's too high over my armor class, so it misses. All right, that's what I like to hear. Some quick whip. Yeah, it exceeds my armor class by a value of ten or greater. Therefore, it automatic. It's a there's a stack. What is that called in the programming? There's a uh, stack overflow. <laughs> 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 Thank God it's only a uh, it's only a half giant. Come on, roll you. What have you got? A fourteen hit point? Uh, I'm not telling you. I'm tanky as heck. <laughs> they got so much else. Ten hit points of bludgeoning damage. Oh sweet, no problem. Since I'm raging, that's only five. All right, easy peasy. I can do this all day. And like one more time. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yeah. <laughs> let me see if he hits you with a second attack. Oh no. <laughs> All day. <laughs> That's in one more time. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, roll you stupid thing. And I think that will probably miss. Does a 12 miss you? It does. I got out of the way that time. He swings high because of your smallish body. <laughs> And such. So, Hellion. Oh, that sounds like my turn. It is. Are you going to torture this thing some more? Uh, no, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> uh, how close to death does he look? He looks fairly close. Excellent. Almost as close to death as the captain who's dying right there. But, you know, whatever. Not important. Uh. As the what? The captain? Uh, the captain of the guard. Whatever. It's a fine story about it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm killing the thing that would otherwise kill the captain of the guard. Don't worry about it. Uh, I Eldritch Blast him. So oh. we're in agreement then. <laughs> okay, see if you hit. Uh, I'm assuming a 25 hits. Yes, it does. What's your damage? 19 on the done. You got how much in damage? Um, my brain definitely works at... Uh, 10 to 1 in the morning. It's 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 4 is 15. See? Uh, I know how much works. 
You said 15? Yep. All right. He 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 gets weak in the knees, but he's still standing. Mm. <laughs> he he looks, really needs to drop he look, like he looks really uh, tough. His armor is taking one heck of a beating. Yeah, he needs to die real soon because uh, I'm not sure I win a fight against him if he can move. Oh, Morgreth. Speaking of losing fights. <laughs> All right, here we go. I really need to get a crit on this attack. <laughs> like, really? Like, oh, I'm going to need a crit for this to even out. I'm going to swing at this dude. I don't even have reckless attack yet because I'm not a second level barbarian. You might want to think about dodging. Or, or I got running. a 13 to hit. Mess. Great. End of my turn. You got movement. And All right, provoke. cool. I'll move Good around stuff. and I'll move around in front of him so that if he wants to, he can either run back towards the other people or he has to go spend right. a few extra movement to get around me. All right, I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, <laughs> cup. Uh, yeah. Um. You and uh, Bran are up over here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I will be breathing a little heavily as well. Bird breathing. <laughs> anyway. Um, and uh, uh, I'll just turn to Bran and say, you you go with this. I can't carry. Uh, Don't worry. I'll, I'll be behind you, okay? They, they didn't help. And they start running off uh, towards the other one. <laughs> Uh, right. The other one that I left behind, you know, some whatever distance ago. Uh, I will not double dash. I will. I will only Wii U Mario Kart dash. Um, are, you, are you dashing? Yeah, I am. I. I. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Sorry. I should point of clarification. I spend my action to dash. I do not spend my bonus action to dash. Okay. Just give me a con save. How about a seven? Does seven give me a point of exhaustion? Uh, yes, I believe it does. Yep. <laughs> as far as that, but you, so you're just one level of exhaustion. So. Yep. I am. Moving. Excellent. Uh, don't grapple him. <laughs> yes, I won't. <laughs> the small Goku says. Well, you can, uh, yeah, because I've downsized these because they're half giants uh, from huge. No, no, you don't understand. I won't because I'm a uh, four foot 11 bird. <laughs> well, yeah. And and you'd have disadvantage from being uh, exhausted. And I don't have proficiency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the disadvantage is the real killer that was not one kind of thing. So, uh, that ever everything that you're doing? Uh yeah yeah I'm just I'm just going towards the other way okay. Ran. I'm gonna take uh, my action to search the giant for loose change. Oh, yeah. All right, give me an, an either an investigation or a perception. Uh, we'll do perception. Seventeen. All right, you find two very pretty green and gray and red rocks in a pouch. Okay. Um, with my bonus action, I'm gonna move over to the, I'm assuming it's a human. Uh, and I'm assuming it's the captain. Am you I know right? what they say. You know what they say about assume. Yep. Am you I get right? o You get over. You look at the body, and you start seeing a glee in your heart that it is human. But as you turn it on over, you notice that it is a human child female is she awake she is petrified and in shock yes <sighs> she's awake 
with my um, object interaction, I will pick her up and I will start walking uh, behind Cup. Okay. And she's trying to scream, but nothing comes out. Um, uh, as I'm walking, I'm going to talk very calmly and ask, uh, what's your name and who's your mom? I, I can help you get back to your mom. Anyway, next. All right. And with uh, this nasty mosquito biting at him, he's going, the giant's going to swing at him again, or the half giant. Not even biting. I've missed every time. That's why you should dodge. And I believe his first blow misses again. I can't believe he rolled a three. I got two threes back to back. Excellent. Uh, if you could keep rolling like that, Charles, this will go a whole lot better for, well, I was going to say everyone, but, you know, the PCs. And his second one. A 16 hit you? Uh, yeah. All right. And let's see here. I mean, I... Oh, I'll be fine. I'm a, I've got, like, uh, so many hit points. <laughs> Seven points of bludgeoning. All right. Only three because I'm raging. And you thought it was going to be unfair. <laughs> yeah. As long as it keeps missing one, we're just trading a blow for miss here. Hellion. Yep. That would have them. All right. Can you hit him? Can you get through the armor and the shield? 21. Yes, you do. Describe your kill. Uh, <laughs> trying to size. Uh, I'm looking at him and says, uh, you're tougher than I thought. That's, uh... Yeah, well, uh, goodbye. Uh, she draws one hand over the bracelet. Uh, magic starts to coalesce. She passes it onto the other hand and draws her now magicless hand back over. Brings her hands together and unleashes an eldritch blast straight at the middle of his forehead. All right. Uh, it deals like uh, sixteen points of damage. It, it, you did not understand me when I said describe your kill. When you, I did, uh, I, he had one hit point. <laughs> God damn it, I could have killed him last time. <laughs> uh, looking around, do I see anybody that looks like they're threatening me in any way? Do you see anybody that what? Looks like they're threatening uh, Hellion. Give me a... Uh, what's your, your passive is 13? 12. 12? Uh, no, you do not. Okay, cool. Uh, I start uh, making my way through the jungle. I'll use my movement in the direction. If I can hear just the giants being, you know, kind of loud or um, what have you, when it's hitting, uh, you'll hear a faint, you'll hear a faint sound of battle going on. I heard in that direction and huffing and puffing. Morgoth. Uh, let's try this again. I'm sure I'll hit him this time. Ah, there hey! we go. We had a 25 to hit him this time. Was it a natural crit? No, unfortunately not. Oh, no. Only a 19 on the die. I was, it was so close. Oh, okay. What's the damage? Uh, damage is nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right, he's let's see here. I'll do a little math here. He's looking rough, but uh, after that, cup. Okay. So here's the thing. If Cut fails this save, he would cut his movement in half, which would be the same as if he didn't dash. But because of the distance that we've traveled, I think he dashes again. <laughs> and then we'll just have to deal with half movement. All right. 
Can't save. Yeah. How about a nine? Does a nine succeed? No. No. Okay. Good to know. So your your movement is half. Yep. So at this point, the cup is like, oh my god, this is not helping. I need to really pace myself better. I gotta do more aerobics. Aerobics, <laughs> yeah. I don't do enough aerobics, yes. All right, Brian. So Brian is going to continue to talk to the girl and um, ask her if she has any pets. Do uh, you have any, like a dog or a cat? And, but I'm going to continue walking. Um, this will be my second round walking. and So I'm trying to catch my wind. Um, you feel something wet on your shoulder. Uh, how are you carrying her? Um, legs over uh, my left arm, supporting her lower back in my right arm. Right All right, on your left arm, you feel something wet. Well, she peed herself. Yeah. Um, I ignore it. All right. And. Oh, I'm done. Okay. And uh, let's see here. This half giant is getting aggravated because he's starting to be hurt. Oh, does a uh, 27 hit. <laughs> More breath. Uh, yes, that exceeded my armor class by uh, 13. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Come on. Five points of bludgeoning damage. All right, I only take two points of bludgeoning damage as I continue to stand strong in the face of this uh, half giant. Just think of the stories you can tell. And his second yeah. act goes wide and high <laughs> with all of an 11. Fantastic. And Hellion. Uh, yeah, I will uh, use my uh, I'll dash towards right here where the noise is going from. All right. And yeah, I'm going to take, no, I'll leave that there just uh, for that. So I'll take this off. I'll take this off. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Where's the stamp? One, because I want to keep that there because that's there. And boom. And everybody's kind of coalescing someplace up around there. So you're moving out there and you, and you see this Mor Morgoth battling with this uh, half giant in the distance about uh, 200 feet away. Great. Um, is this the one that I hexed or? No. No. Okay, cool. Uh, I do maintain my concentration on hex though because nothing will have forced me to drop it yet. Well, you, you would feel a sense that the, that concentration on that hex is not, not there anymore. Also, Hex allows me, once the target drops to zero, to move it as a bonus action. Yeah, but you got to see the target to move it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still so concentrating on Hex. You know, so that, but what I'm doing is trying to let you know that you would know... That the other one's dead. The other one's dead. Sure, thank you. And uh, that was more Grath, right? Or was that Hellion? That was, was Hellion. All right, more Grath. Awesome. I imagine so far this fight with the half giant has got to look like one of those silly fights where they stand and punch each other over and over again and get nowhere. <laughs> I'm going to try to hit him again. All right. If I get a crit, I'm going to lay this dude out. It'll be great. Uh, I did not get a crit. Uh, 22 to hit, though. But you hit? <laughs> yeah. What's the damage? Uh, damage is 16. Oh, sweet. Good roll. Sweet, sweet. Nice work. Yes, he's looking pretty haggard. And if you can take a half try at the first level, good for you, buddy. 
It's going to be close. I think it's going to come down to whether or not I roll real good on damage on my next attack because I should make it through these two attacks because I have relentless endurance. But after that, I've got one more. Tur- I've got one more turn coming up. That's it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I've covered this point, having just moved some one hundred and eighty feet the la- over the last two turns, moves once and does not dash. <laughs> I believe that is something like twenty or. Between twenty to twenty-five feet. No, that should be forty feet for you. No, I don't dash, and my speed is halved. Oh, so I move twenty between twenty. I technically move twenty-two and a half feet. Does that get me next to this fight, or it am gets, I still some distance? It gets you still some distance. Uh, it gets you within visual range, like Hellion. You see Hellion not far from you. He's a little closer. Maybe the other direction. Okay. Um, how much distance would you say? About 200 feet. Mm-hmm. Let me check a thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. People get bought me this in it for, for reasons. Yeah. Um, I tiredly pull out my crossbow, load it. <laughs> and fire while moving <laughs> towards uh, the attack is at disadvantage, but uh, I can see it. So I can roll one. Uh, that, yeah, I, I will. Don't worry. What? Um, 17. You need to roll twice. Oh, you're right. Crit fail <laughs> is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, God damn. Give me hey, give Arthur. <laughs> you know how you have your character next to that ogre. Give me. A percentage roll. Yeah, let me roll your percentage. Wait, actually, I'd put forward. You remember that turn where I got around in front of him so he was between me and everybody else? I think he should provide me some cover against accidentally getting hit by friendly fire. That seems fair. 92. What? How bad is that? Do I die? What was it? 92 was the percentile. 92. Okay. Roll me a, one, uh, a D8. All right, you got it. One. <laughs> All right. You hit the ground and a bunch of pine straw flies up along with dirt and blinds you for one. Yeah, uh, in your eyes, one turn. Okay, so I fire. I'm too tired to even keep the crossbow up. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> um, I just... <laughs> It's like I use my reaction to deflect missiles on the dirt, and I am like way too slow. It's like it hits me in the face, <laughs> and like two seconds later, I use my hand to move. <laughs> anyway, that's my turn. All right, Brian. So Brian's going to continue talking to this girl in a nice, calm voice and um, tell her that she has really pretty hair and like to know your name so I can, so I know what you call you. Um, However, I am going to try and dash this turn. All right, go ahead. So I'm going to move 60. All right. And that's my turn. That'll bring you up there with uh, uh, Hellion and Cup. And I can see the Cup's not looking so good, right? Yeah, he's kind of looking all over the place like, where am I? (laughs) I got dirt in my face. I'm like dragging my feet. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> hey, Dan, my half giant's up. Oh, how nice. Roll the bone bean footage. Ooh. All right, here we go. <laughs> 21. Uh, yes, uh, that will continue to miss. No. <laughs> Let's see here. That sounds like wishful thinking to me. Ooh. Eight hit points. Uh, all right, we're we're good. Uh, all right. I'm not sure about it. Gotta love half damage. Like, yeah, it's really keep me in the fight here. Come on, roll. Stupid key, right there. Oh, another twenty-one. Uh-oh. Ah. Oddly enough, that hits again. <laughs> Oddly. Six points of bludgeoning. 
All right, that triggers my relentless endurance, where if I would drop to zero, I instead dropped a one hit point. Okay. And Hellion, you see Morgoth, and I'm taking some license here, fellas. <laughs> Get weak in the knees, go down to one knee, and then he forces himself back up to stand for this. You can tell without a doubt, all of you, Morgoth is in trouble. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot that beats Eldritch Blast for range, and I'm not going to get within range of an Eldritch Blast this turn. Um, arms to the bar. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sure I'll roll a critical and wipe him out on my turn. <laughs> He should uh, die. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> My armor class is 14. It's not going to help me a lot. <laughs> but still, yeah, well, yeah, you're probably right about that. Or disengage. <laughs> he moves faster than me. I can't disengage and get far enough away to make a difference. But he won't follow you. Uh, you could follow. probably make it back. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to spend my turn dashing um, closer, which ah. should put me 140. Yeah, 260. Yeah, that's one one forty. See, um, yeah, I don't have anything that I can do at that range. I'm about twenty feet too far out. So just like get uh, some money to buy some medium armor, then I'll be able to uh, dodge <laughs> attacks. <laughs> until then, until then, more grab. Need to wear armor to dodge. Uh, disengage, disengage. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kill see it. if I can kill him. I wanna, I want the bragging rights of being a solo a half giant at level right. one. Level one, <laughs> yeah, seems fair, seems reasonable. I mean, it seems like a poor decision. Hey, also. you're hitting 23 to hit. All right, do the damage. 15 more points of damage. Good job. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Describe your kill. <laughs> yes, since he's so much bigger than me. I kind of wind up for a moment, and then in a slashing upwards attack, I I uh, hit him right between the legs with my great axe. Bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Fair play. Damn. I raise my axe victoriously, and then fall over completely exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out of initiative. You say that, but my character continues to move toward the fight because I can't see shit. <laughs> here, take here. Uh, put your hand on me, cup. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, <laughs> but I do eventually. Uh, yeah, wipe the dirt from my face and eyes. Yeah, you guys will uh, make it up there to your buddy. <sighs> um, Bran will uh, reach down to help him up, and when I touch him, I'm going to give him five hit points. All right. Oh, I got him. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, excellent luck. You got him. Good job. <clears throat> <laughs> Helium looks uh, more or less fine. Not exhausted. Has taken no damage. Yep. <laughs> uh, out of place. Yep. I uh, I move over to a nearby set of brush, just like bushes and, and vines and otherwise brush. And I fall into it and I attempt to hide and then roll over and roll back into it. And that's my stealth check. <laughs> so Bran is actually carrying a little girl. Yep. Um, oh, I guess Hellion will um, inspect the sack that this one was carrying. Uh, kind of let whoever was in there out. Well, when you open it up, you see an old man, gnome, rock gnome. Hellion looks at the gnome, no, looks at the little girl that Bran's uh, carrying and uh, kind of looks back and forth between the two for a couple of seconds and then looks at Bran and says, uh, I don't like this one, want to swap? Um, she's traumatized. You, you might actually do better with her, that's true. She, she's in shock. So yeah, I'll, I'll give her to you. Uh, excellent. 
And, and uh, what's your strength there, Hellion? Uh, 11. All right. And she's going to be uh, with what you're carrying and like that. She'll, she'll probably uh, be a little I, cum cumbersome. Let me see here. Uh, I'm actually carrying very little. Are, are you? Um, I'm carrying about 65 pounds. I've got I've got about 100 pounds of carrying capacity left. All right. Well, she's weighing about 70. Okay. Um, I don't carry her very far. I kind of carry her over to one side. Yeah. Um, I'm just, uh, I was just wanting to let you know on that. That's all. That's fine. Uh, I carry her over to one side. Um, and we'll sit and start trying to um, coax her into telling me what happened. Um, Bran will take this opportunity to take a look at this giant and see if he has two green stones on him as well. Give me the same type of check, either investigation or perception. I mean, he's dead, so... Yeah, but he is a big mass. He could be hiding, uh, laying on it or in it. 20. 20. You find two very pretty stones in a pouch that are red, black, and white. Is that important? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> and white. Okay. Uh, uh, you said, uh, these were, are these your friends that you were looking for? Unfortunately not. Oh. We, um... We kind of got crossed with the thieves guild in town. Seems like a silly uh, thing to do, but go on. We have been following this trail to try and find our friends. And um, we had thought that it was here. But unfortunately, these are not the junk, these are not the people. But you saying this yeah. out loud, Brian? Yeah. The old gnome will pipe up and say in a very timid, old, shaky, venerable voice. They sent two others out towards Doolin. They said something about the master, mistress, something like that. She wanted them. How many days ago was that? What day of the week is it? No, tell him. He'll say, scratching his head and pulling on his little goatee beard. And... Ah, that'd be three days ago, back when they captured me. I saw him for a bit. The one looked like a big pussy cat. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. The other one, I don't know. He looked kind of funny. Kind of like a pirate? Uh, yeah. I'll describe it. Matter of fact, I'll use minor illusion and I'll put a picture of the captain up there. He'll say, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Isn't he funny looking? Look at all that. That someone braids his hair funny. <laughs> uh, look over the cup and I just shake my head three days. You look over at cup who is hiding so well. Oh. <laughs> uh, stealth is 16, I suppose. Uh, you probably won't see Oh, yeah, I guess you disappeared, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, you you saw me lay down in a bush, and then gun. <laughs> you maybe hear me uh, sleeping though. <laughs> Morgan Rex scratches his head and says, "All right, wait a minute. I'm confused. Does this mean that you're not friends with the Thieves Guild?" No, no, no. What I was saying is, the Thieves Guild. Uh, we've crossed the Thieves Guild. Matter of fact, there was a lot of the Thieves Guild in that clearing back there. Um, uh, and then the, uh, the orcs are a member of the, what they call the Black Hand Tribe or something like that. 
and um, we've been sort of evading them as well. Um, the captain of the guard uh, wanted to sell these to to the orcs. So I'm going to ask the gnome, who are you and why, why, why did they want to sell you? I don't know why someone wanted to sell my old bones, but I am just Jethro, the fisherman. You're a fisherman, huh? Yes. Did you see anything I, I, recently? I saw a bunch of bad nets. I was <laughs> I was repairing, and all of a sudden, thump! Out goes the lights, a th throbbing in the back of my head. You don't know this little girl, do you? He'll look at her. She ain't mine. I, I, I don't. I never knew her mother. No, I deny her. <laughs> this little girl is very clearly not a gnome, right? Clearly. Yeah. Uh, is an army glares at the gnome and uh, probably doesn't say anything. Uh, she will take the little girl further away um, and continue just trying to calm her down. She'll probably go so far as to cast. Um, protection from evil and good on the little girl and tell her that it is a magical shield that will protect her from all harm. It's not, but she's relying on the fact the little girl knows nothing about magic. I'll go stand next to Hellion and whisper, uh, are these people reputable? They've crossed the Thieves Guild, which usually is a good sign. The little girl will look up at uh Morgoth and take a deep gasp of air and her eyes will get as big as bronze pieces and she'll point at them and at that point Morgoth may realize he's blood soaked. Uh, Morgoth will look at the little girl and say uh, don't worry I'm the thing that your nightmares run away from. <laughs> uh, he's not Lying, he's uh, he's one of the good guys. Uh, give me uh, Morgoth, give me a persuasion check. All right, I'm actually proficient in these. Okay, it's pretty cool. You've got a decent charisma as well, right? Yeah, I got a 15 charisma right now. We got a natural 20 for a 24 persuasion. She calms down and she believes you. She still kind of at shock and, and some terror because of all the blood surrounding you, but she believes what you said. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, Helen, do you think we should help these two? They seem pretty powerful. Uh, they do. Uh, in addition, um, we should probably seek to help people that have been sold to the leader of half giant. It's only the polite thing to do. Uh, who knows, we may find some useful... Um, You're right. We should destroy evil where we find it. Sure, whatever you want. Uh, half orcs count as Do uh, orcs I... count as evil? Uh, no, it depends on the orc. Do humans count as evil? Same question. Usually. Um, <laughs> There's a few good ones, I'm pretty sure, anyways. Well, that's what I said, usually. Ah, um, uh, okay, okay. What about orcs that shoot me with arrows? Uh, I leave that as an exercise to the student as he turns and walks towards the other two. <laughs> uh, great, because I uh, may or may not have uh, caved this skull. Uh, Morgoth heads over towards probably Philip. He seems to be the most talkative one, and he can't see Cup right now anyways. Uh, mm. As he says, uh, all right, we will be helping you. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> With all this that's gone on, Cup, your sight is back. 
Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Cup is dead asleep. <laughs> dead asleep? Yeah, um, Cup was just like, dead? Uh, stuff's resolved, danger possible still, but I can't run from it, so I hide and went to sleep as soon as they, it's like, ah, I'll just hide under this brush and it'll be perfect. And then <sighs> once you lay your head down after a long day, <laughs> it's like, out. <laughs> um, ultimately, you guys seem like good people. Uh, me and my friend, well, <laughs> we actually, uh, we had more, but they just, they captured uh, uh, two, of our, two of us. And three days ago, they were shipped out, apparently. But, um, we are on a quest to, to preserve the balance of the world. That is a mighty quest. It also has dangerous enemies. That's no problem. <laughs> I'm very impressed you took that uh, giant by yourself. I'm you pretty impressed too. I mean, of course, yes, <laughs> naturally. You must be a mighty fighter. Uh, I am. The name's Morgrath. Someday I'll be known as Morgrath, the Destroyer of Evil. And I'm Brand Stormwind. Nice to meet you. That over there is Hellion. Uh, uh, Hellion Weaver. Um, let's see here. The Weaver of Hell, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, more or less. Uh... Um, Hellion, what was the status of the camp? Hmm? Uh, yes. <laughs> Definitely paid attention to that and didn't focus on just eliminating. Um, excellent question. <laughs> okay. He went in for revenge and everything else didn't matter. Uh, I can tell you the idiot half orc, but wait, was it a half orc or a full orc? That yeah, was a full orc. All right, uh, the idiot orc that shot me uh, no longer lives. Uh, so you know, uh, really. We what, about, what about the other orcs? Uh, other orcs? Uh, excellent question. Yeah, there they were three of them. Did you kill them too? Um, if they're dead, I did. All right, well... Uh, if they're alive, uh, I did not. <laughs> I think... Um, I think my friend... Uh, the bird, his name is Empty Cup. Um, Empty Cup, all right. Why? Um, because... <laughs> because he's not full. A great um, question. For another day. <laughs> uh, he's a Kanku, I think. I mean, sure. What's that? It's a bird creature. All right. And um, ultimately, uh, looks like he's gone to sleep because I rolled an 18 on my. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, he's fair. Exception. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and this this may be an odd place, but uh, we could pull camp here. Uh, All right, if we sure. could move away from the corpse of the half giant, it would probably make uh, our young charge more comfortable. Oh yeah. Well, maybe we what can move it? on the other side of these trees, and still stay relatively close to cup. Or you could just call for cup to wake up. Uh, would Cup be upset if I picked him up and moved him? Everybody <laughs> roll me a perception check at this event. That's, awa uh, that's awake. Perfect. Three. <laughs> 19. Wow. 17. Oh, 
Okay. Brian. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it to Hellion. With the 17, close enough. Not quite, but you just won't see as much. Brian, um, Hellion, you see a, a large, dark shadow flying over the canopy. And through the breaks of the canopy, Bran, you see a familiar bony foe. Bran will put his finger to his mouth in the shushing motion. And it looks like it's trying to circle around. You do have the box with you, right? I do. Yep. Okay, good. But I thought I had turned it off. I all I did was ask if you had the box with you. I do have the box on. Progress <laughs> looks around. Whether you turned it on or turned it off for that question wasn't. I didn't. Don't worry so much. Uh, it'll be fine. Morgoth looks around in response to uh, Brand's gesture, doesn't see anything, and whispers, what are we doing right now? In the quiet game. I'd like to make a uh, minor illusion of the Draco Lich. And I'm going to point up. What's right. that? Undead I'm going to assume that your minor illusion is not the size of the dragon. No, it's it's a little miniature. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Morgan says, uh, why is that a problem? Why don't we just smash it? I could probably stop on that with one foot. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's the, it's the scales. Silly Morgan. Um... Damn, I don't feel comfortable staying here anymore. <laughs> Good. Oh, really? Do you want me to carry Cup away from the terrified mouse dragon thing? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go wake him up. Uh, mm -hmm. Mouse dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm so going to start a mouse dragon. It's not morning yet. No, but uh, our dragon friend is nearby. Um, Cup whispers. What do you think we should do then? We need to try and get back to Lith. Um, if I remember right, there was a big building that had a, it was a church. It was near the, uh, near the middle of the town, big round building. I think we need to go to the church and inform them that the captain of the guard had sold these two into slavery I don't know who to trust. Maybe we should lie low for a bit. And where would you lie low? On a spring. Anywhere where a dragon... Sorry, my character doesn't know what a dragon is. Anywhere where our bony friend can't reach us. <laughs> Morgoth comes over and says, is it undead? Yes. Yes. Then wouldn't a church be safe? It might be if we didn't have to travel a few hundred yards over open terrain. No. But it's the size of a mouse. Like, we can outrun it. No, it's actually uh, much, much bigger. <laughs> it's. I feel like I would see something that big. Uh, I feel like you should see something that big as well. Can you see it, Elian? Uh, I noticed it's shadow, yeah. Okay. And what you'd be able to get the size yep. of, from the shadow. But uh, Morgoth 
it was just too busy trying to impress that little girl or something or <laughs> freaking himself out over his victory. Uh, more like Morgrath is heavily injured and was at one hit point until he got five points of healing. <laughs> just as uh, he's doing the best he can. Well, no, I'm just trying to justify that why you didn't see him with the perception roll that you had. I'm going to blame it on the blood in his eyes. Yeah, as far as that. but uh, What happens if we go to that underground tunnel cup? The smuggler's cave. Still, it's still over open ground some distance. Yeah, you got a couple miles open ground. Well, yeah, that's not like a, a We're safest time. either remaining quiet in this forest, perhaps somewhere else, or finding a church in the middle of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. All right, can we move at least a little bit um, Let me see here. southwest and we can look for a good grove of trees to try and hunker down in them? I mean, is that, what do you think, Hellion? Uh, I think I should uh, disappear inside my bracelet if I was sent to them, but uh, that would involve abandoning you all, so I won't do that for now. Did you say that out loud? Yep. Uh, you can disappear. Brands uh, ask you. You can disappear inside your bracelet. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, thanks. I thought so. That was a gift from my uh, father. <laughs> I just thought of something wild and cruel. So yeah, let's uh, let's move a little bit and try and find a good place to um, to hunker down. All right, let's do it. You are getting somewhat of a feeling of some security from the canopy of the forest. Okay, well we'll keep the canopy for now. We just want to move away from this. Ultimately, there should be a big path that these giants were going down. Well, so, yeah, they were kind of may, uh, making it uh, somewhat, but... So we want to move away, you know, so... We want to find a thick clump of trees that would be extra hard to get down into uh, as a dragon. And that, and and preferably in the and back toward the city of Leth, although obviously not uh, directly there. You don't want there. to go deeper into the forest. I mean, <laughs> you can ask Phil and or Bran that. I, I'm just, I'm just. What do you think? I'm just throwing it on out. I mean, you. I mean, we are them. more likely to find a thick, dense, of, thick cups of trees. If we go deeper into the forest, that's true. Right. Well, you do. You also know that your barge captain, or you feel you know that the barge captain has been sold three days ago and shipped. Yeah, he's in the wind now, my friend. Hey, you do know the the direction for where you the direction to... and or location was Doolin. We could head in that direction rather than left, but I think taking the river is still better than than taking the river is definitely better. So, and taking the small child back to her hometown should definitely be our priority. Also better. So, heading towards Leth is what we're doing. Although, uh, if we happen to find the clearing, we are not going towards it. We are looking for a thick clump of trees rather than. Yeah. A... Let's go. Uh, let's go directly south. That'll take us into the hex. Where? Right about here. No, go to the right just a little bit. Yeah, there. All right. And, let me and we'll look around in that area for some place that we can camp out. All right. You'll find something right about there that you feel meets your needs. Okay. <clears throat> um, I suggest that we have a cold camp tonight. I nod slowly. I then sneak under some 
uh, unusually thick uh, brush. You have a last watch cup. <laughs> Go to sleep. I don't. E I don't even hear you, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> I can see pretty good at night. Um, I could pull a watch now, which is sort of night, or I could pull a mid watch. What's up? To, it's up to you guys. Lorgas says, "I shall take whichever watch uh, you want me to." Well, you're I will. Well, yeah. Why don't you? Um... I do have dark vision, uh, so I we can't see in the dark after a fashion. Okay, why don't you take the first watch, and then mm. wake me up? Yeah, I would prefer to uh, have a solid four hours before I take the watch. Okay, so that works well with me. All right, I shall be on first watch, and then I'll be waking you up, uh, Mr. S Sir Stormwind. Sounds good. Morgrath, right. roll me a D12. A D12? All right. We got a one. Oh. Are you, my precious? Oh, yes. Roll me a D10. On the D10, we got a two. Oh, man, that's awful. Roll, roll again. I'm not going to put that one there for you. Six. I'm really disappointed I didn't roll a three. All right. You'll, you'll hear some strange yipping and howling. Um, coming kind of, you would uh, think maybe in your direction. Oh, okay. Would I have been able to benefit by a short rest by now if we were sitting camp up and getting ready to sleep? No. Okay. Uh, short rest out in the wilderness is eight hours. Oh, great. <laughs> what if uh, four of those hours are in comfort and the other four are uh, not? Well, you, with your situation, it is, it is different. There are a, a exceptions like Lehman's tiny hut. And, yeah, uh, okay. uh, it's fine for them. Uh, uh, if you got something that's like Lehman's tiny hut, the uh, what is it, uh, Arthur's favorite there, the temple or whatever. <laughs> temple of the gods is the premier camping spell. But uh, th those things give you standard player handbook rest out in the wilderness whenever you're setting it on. Up. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny one for me at the minute because I have something like that for four hours. Um, so not long enough to get a short rest, I guess, but not long enough for a, for a long rest. Uh, I'll go wake up Brand Stormwind. All right. All right. Uh, when uh, my question is, when uh, when are you waking them up? When you hear the sound, or yeah, when I hear the sound. Okay, so the that'd be about halfway through your watch. Yeah, I apologize for disturbing your uh, rest, uh, uh, Brand, but uh, uh, usually it's something I'd handle myself. But if there's a problem, I'm not in the best condition right now. Yes, I understand. Um... And uh, I'm assuming that I, because we're in a dangerous situation, I was sleeping in my armor. Oh, you don't want to do that. If you want to, you can. All right, then I'm going to put on my armor. Okay. Do I hear this noise? Yeah, you, you hear the noise. Uh, the uh, yipping and yelping, strange, uh, but a little off in the distance. But it headed your way. But it sounds like it's headed our way. Yep. <sighs> Screw me. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that's better than a swarm of poisonous snakes. Well, why don't we see if they actually get closer? Suddenly, a swarm of poisonous snakes attack. Um, <laughs> no, and everybody what, except Cup he, dies because Cup can run away. That's just, that's what he rolled on on the first on the random monster, wandering monster chart, and that just would be for your makeup after a big battle. Really, kind of unfair. Perfect. Are they getting closer? It does sound like they're getting closer. I'm going to actually climb up a tree and ready some javelins. Okay. You won't have any problem finding a tree that you can get up in. Awesome. When, when I think they're about um, maybe one minute away, let me know. All right. Uh, you going on watch? Everybody getting up, or just you and uh, Morgrith? Right now, um, we're seeing. I'm kind of hoping that they might pass us by. Um, is Hellion in her? Um... No, she intends to take her watch in. Uh, she can. No. Uh, wait, no. That's why she wanted the four hours. Yeah, she is in her bracelet, um, and she would have asked that. Uh, whoever's on watch at the time um, look after it and she would tell them that that means uh, Morgoth has it Morgoth has it uh, you, she made you guys aware that she, while she can't see what's going on around her um, she is able to hear what's going on around the bracelet from inside so if you call her um, you'll be able to to kind of get her uh, get hold of her um, Morgrath climbed a tree. She's in a bracelet. Cup is hiding. Uh, Bran will cast Minor Illusion and put a uh, big bush around himself. All right. Where are the gnome and oh shit, shell shocked little girl? <laughs> um, oh, I'll climb down and grab the girl, and I'll keep her with me. Well, you, what climbing up the tree? Yeah, I've got enough strength that I can put her in my backpack uh, and then keep her there. I'll just leave my stuff uh, that was in the backpack at the bottom of the tree. Now, the gnome, since he's a small creature, can essentially stand stand in my space. Yep. And then I will put a tree around myself. All right. Well, be around put. yourself. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, sure. But again, I want to wait as they uh, get closer. All right. And you hear them coming closer and coming closer, the yaps and the yipes. Uh, any of you guys uh, speak no? No, no. No. Nope. All right. So I will just, cast my minor illusion now. It, it, so it's, it, it's, um, it sounds like a pack of, uh, We'll say uh, wargs or dire wolves to you then. Maybe a hyena. Yeah. Not that I'm noticed. I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, nobody's waking me up. Yet. Free lunch. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Eat me. As, Go for it. As far as that, so. Uh, Charles, as far as that, how long have we had since we started wrestling? Say how long? Into Morgoth's uh, rest is this. Uh, into Morgoth's watch, sorry. Uh, he was halfway through, so two hours. Two hours. Uh, <laughs> so, given that I've been resting in a comfortable environment for an hour, does that mean I've got a short rest? Yes. Okay, cool. That's my spell slot back. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to bring other people inside with me and they get a short rest in 10 minutes. Oh, nice. It really is <laughs> not till 10th level, unfortunately. So, you hear this coming, you hear this coming. And then everybody give me a charisma saving throw. I am possibly. 
And since you can hear it, Hellion, you do. Yep. Uh, is this a game? There are certain things that I have advantage against, so I should check what they are. Um, um, I'm assuming this isn't a charm effect. No. Uh, cool. So... Mm -hmm. uh, 24. All right. Don't worry there. Uh, more grab. Oh. All right. More grab. Mm -hmm. And, ooh. <laughs> All right. Ava, not Ava, but the Empty Cup, Bran, and Morgrath, um, and I will say our two um, save, your, save souls are all frightened, like the frightened condition. Do I wake up then? Oh, yeah. It would, you would be uh, uh, one hell of a nightmare of a dark figure on a on a Draco lich, where it is screeching a necrotic breath out. It seems about right. Okay. But since you've seen that happen already. Yep. Uh, similar for Bran. Uh, Morgrath, it's just this ungodly uh, sound that's scary, uh, that is just putting you to the quick of the of your bone and the other two say uh save souls it's the same thing they have never seen this uh before so they're not seeing the complete visage but they're getting the eerie deathly sounding screech that goes to the center of someone's soul almost like shaking the soul loose from the body Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I definitely stay up in my tree. And uh, then after that, it's deadly silent. You don't even hear the yips from the others. Quietly refresh my minor illusion. Say what? Quietly refresh my minor illusion. It only lasts for a minute. Yeah, all right. That's that's fine. And 10 minutes ago by, nothing. Just quiet, no birds, no uh, no mice, no squirrels, no weasels, nothing. Am I no longer frightened? No, it only lasts for a minute, so. So it's gotten quiet again. Yeah, it's, I mean, but it's deathly quiet. But you know, another 10 minutes. You guys that uh, were frightened aren't frightened now. Wait another 10 minutes. Still quiet. Okay. I motion for uh, more graph to come on down. Uh, more graph will descend carefully. What about the girl? She's in the backpack. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You did say in the backpack. I thought you were going to leave her up there. I'd say, oops, she falls. And she breaks. Nope. Uh, that's, that's actually why I didn't try to have her climb or anything. I just <laughs> emptied my backpack out and put her in the backpack. <laughs> Breaks her crown. Her name is Jill. Yes. All right. Let me. Um... Did uh... did Cup manage to stay asleep? No. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't think Cup says anything or does anything different. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave you alone. Morgrath uh, looks to Bran. What was that? That was horrible. 
That was the Draco Lich. It can do all of that? Shit, that's nothing compared to what it can really do. I don't want to fight it. <laughs> You're smart. I don't want to fight it either. You going to tell, uh, tell them what it did to some of the city guards in Doolin? <laughs> Not um, right now. We, don't, we want them to be on our side. Come on. <laughs> No, actually, Bran is not. Okay. Um, wake me up in in like another hour or two, and then I'll take mid watch. Okay. All right. And I'll go back to watching. All right, Yuri. The hour or two passes. Everything's quiet. Uh, Bran will take mid watch, and I guess I got the bracelet. Uh, yeah, like she would have arranged with you guys to kind of pass it to others on watch so that they can more easily wake her. Right. Uh, and ask that you be careful with it. It's uh, not and irreplaceable, but... Um... Bram, what, what are you doing with the bracelet? I'm going to put it on my wrist. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. I went fishing and I got nothing. Um, so I'm going to pull my watch. Okay, it goes quiet. And then I will wake Kellyan up. Okay. And I will get some more sleep. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, about that time, uh, Hellion kind of pops into the nearest unoccupied space. Um, takes the bracelet back and puts it on and thanks you. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the bracelet. Mm. Uh, good because uh, I would lose a fight against you and I would have to fight you if you didn't give it back <laughs> I have my um, I have my own gift and Bram will go to sleep alright um, Bram what would that be Roll me a wisdom save. You have a restless sleep. Every ounce of your PTSD starts flashing in the back of your mind. Okay. Well, uh, just to let you uh, let you know on your on your rest. Understood. Uh, as far as that. Next watch. No, I think that's, no, that's the last watch. Oh, last watch. Okay, good. So it's morning. What are you guys doing? All right, well, now it's time to wake up Cup. <laughs> yeah. He had a full night, Cup. So how long was that? Have I had a short rest, a long rest? Short rest, eight hours. You can use hit dice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he can use a hit die. <laughs> Fantastic. Exactly. Bram, will, uh, Bram will walk over to you and give you another five hit points. Five more? Oh, I thank you. Perfect. Back up to full health here. What's Cup doing? So because that was a short rest, did I regain any exhaustion? No, you have to have a long rest. That's what I thought. Okay. So, Cup gets up, wakes up, I should say, stretches, takes a real slow, almost yoga like movement, stretching, meditates, 
And then says, okay. And then kind of frowns. And says, I feel like I missed something. Um, the dragon was trying to flush us, flush us out last night. I remember that. Oh, that's what that was? Hmm. Yes, that's what that was. Interesting. I get that it was trying to scare you. Uh, it wasn't super scary though, right? Like, I would have thought a dragon would be better at scaring people. It's a lot scarier if you're not in a magic ring. <laughs> uh, technically, it's a bracelet. A ring is a circle. <laughs> uh, a ring is a circle that you are on a finger. No, no, I, I meant I meant ring. You know, circle, ring, thing. From uh, more gra more grass uh, perspective, I could see him just seeing a bracelet, somewhat like a large ring for a barbarian. But that's just 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 me trying to work with a barbarian. Pup says again. Okay, now I'm certain I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right, Cub. Um, I would suggest that we move south to the edge of the woods, and then we can move northwest along the edge of the woods. That'll get us relatively close to Leth, keeping cover. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody, give me perception checks. Uh, nine. I contribute a ten. I contribute Wait, a nineteen. I don't contribute a nine. I contribute an eight. I got an eighteen. This is perfect. Cup and uh, Bran, you notice that uh, on the way through the woods and coming up to the edge of the woods that uh, you see some forest creatures or what look like they could have been forest creatures, um, withered and dried remains of their body. They're almost like someone sucked all the moisture right out from them. Well, and I know exactly what happened. You gonna point a you two gonna point it out to your part your your friends in your party? <laughs> I point toward the withered creatures. The girl screams about it. The old man says, Oh, my day's coming. It comes for us all. <laughs> uh not if you have one. So, uh, Morgrath and Hellion, I, I don't know if you have any um, any experience with this, with the uh, Dragon Ledge. And so, what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll make a little miniature picture of the of the battle in. Uh, see what time was that? Doolin with the dragon coming in and the dragon breathing and the men shriveling. So it's picture, 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 picture. Uh, you got two pictures into this before huh? um, Helian gives you a very pointed look and then looks directly at the small child who really doesn't need to be saying this. Oh, close your eyes, dear. <laughs> Too late. She, her eyes are bigger than bronze pieces now. Has anybody actually found out her name? Nope. Brilliant. Uh, what's your name, little one? She'll open her mouth 
and mouth, but nothing comes out. Don't worry, I told you before. That thing, I can kill it. He can. He's very powerful. Let's move for now. Why don't you eat on a ration? And uh, do you want to go in the backpack or do you want me to carry you? She'll mouth, uh, she'll mouth, uh, mouth out a statement. Uh, I'll pick her up and say, uh, if you want to go in the backpack, just uh, let me know. And she'll open up her mouth and mouth out a statement. All right, how about this? Nod twice if you want to go into the backpack. She nods twice. She nods twice? All right, I'll uh, transfer stuff around so I can put her in the backpack. All right, and you're headed on your happy way. Go, go. So I, I think the, um, the whole point of the dragon flying overhead was to try to scare us out of the forest. And it scared the animals out of the forest. And what you're, we're seeing is the aftermath of that maneuver. Ah, so it's a good thing we stayed put. Yes. Great. Because uh, I'm definitely going to need to be, uh, need to do some more training before I kill the dragon. Uh, yes. Draco Lich? What did you call it? Uh, I think it's called a Draco Lich. Draco Lich, all right. Yeah, it doesn't look like any dragon I've ever seen. We had uh, red dragons near the city that I grew up in. But... Basically, this is a dragon that is undead. Ah. So, uh, you know any paladins? I hear those things are good at fighting undead. We said say that again. You know any paladins? I am a paladin. Ah, excellent. Now you shouldn't have any problems then, should you? <laughs> well, <laughs> aren't undead kind of your specialty? Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, don't worry, Hellion. Killing everything is my specialty. Yeah, yeah, sure it is. So we will continue walking and talking. Yeah, and you'll make make to the uh, uh, docks of uh, left. Oh, right. That's where you were talking about going. Yeah, yep. for sure. Uh, let's see here. Stop that share. Some, some like, minute after that conversation, as we were walking, Cup says in a tired voice, we know you are content to simply be yourself and don't compare or compete. Everyone will respect you. And who are you talking to? I'm talking to more Bren. Ah. Uh, I am myself. I will be the destroyer of evil right. eventually. Eventually. Then. If you live so long. You hear a mother's voice in the back of your head. Right. Then why do you compete with Bran? You make your way down to the uh, warehouse where you know the smuggler's tunnel is. I'm not trying to compete with Bran. I'm just trying to uh, reassure people uh, that I will be there to face uh, problems. Why not? Um, theoretically, I think a lot of the thieves died last night. Uh, so this should be a clear pathway. Yeah, there's a smuggler's tunnel that goes underneath the wall. Is using said tunnel illegal or? Well, because the captain of the guard was involved, I am now very hesitant to trust the guard. Do you want to trust the guard and go through the main gate or do you want to take the smuggler's tunnel? 
Uh, what I want to know is exactly where your allegiance, like, is your allegiance with the Thieves Guild? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, like, whose side were you on in all of that? The Thieves Guild were against us. So we and are. The guard we are... were with the Thieves Guild? Excuse me? And the, the town guard, they were with the Thieves Guild? They're the ones who wanted to sell this young girl and this gnome to the. Uh... To the orcs. Yeah, no, no, I get that. I'm just trying to work out the, like, get across the battlefield. I don't know if the they were field. together, but they were willing to sell these two beings Bran, into slavery. Bran, Bran is the kind of person who desires much. And so he <laughs> makes many enemies. Just remember that snake lady and say that again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he is not the worst person I've ever met. Nor is he well, <laughs> uh, if the guard captain died, uh, we just go to the front gate. Because that was probably him and his cronies in the clearing, right? Yeah, but was he dead? Unless they're questioning those with weapons outside of town as they enter into town, if they've seen anything about the captain. I recommend going through, this, through the tunnel. But if uh, you guys already know about the tunnel as well. We told them before we knew about the captain's involvement. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. So the only reason we would go down... But that was only is... one day ago. Do you, do you think that the, 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 the... And he was out there last night. Do you think they've taken action in the tunnels? I think the captain knew about the tunnels and didn't do anything, but... I agree. Um, main reason why we can go down there is to have a place that's not only safe to rest in, but to have, that is also not only a place that is unknown to most people to rest in, but also safe from a dragon. So, what do you say, um, Hellion and Morgrath? Morgrath shrugs. I don't care. Uh, all I want to know is, are the people in the tunnels our friends, or... Theoretically, what? the tunnel should be empty because we killed all the thieves there before. Okay, right. so if there's new people there, uh, they're new people and we should talk to them first? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, okay? Uh, all right, how about you be in front and then I'm fine with whatever? Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, Mr. GM. And... Uh... We'll end it there with you guys in the in the warehouse going to the tunnel as far as that. Um, we'll, we'll say you get down into the tunnel into the familiar room that you uh, and uh, empty cup. Yep. Found before, perfect. And uh, you take up a resting residence there. You'll stay there for a full rest to get the full the full night. You'll get a full rest. I'm assuming we want to do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Very much so. We'll start next game there next session there would you guys have a full rest um more graph you will get um two xp one All right one inspiration hellion you'll get one xp and one inspiration okay um cup and uh Brand, you'll get one XP and each and two inspirations. Two? Yep. Okay. Because for those guys, it, you know, well, if uh, Hellion would have jumped up with the uh, with the with the uh, half giants like they were, uh, I I would have said that was lethal for him. But it was definitely lethal for Morgoth. <laughs> That's almost certainly true. 
as far as that. So he'll get the uh, get the two XP and yeah. yeah, that was a close one. And that'll bring the party average party level coming closer to what it is. Hopefully I think two XP I... still only brings me to level two. I think because you need what yeah, three yeah. total for level three. Yeah, you need three XP for level three. How many um, inspiration does that put you on, though? Me? One inspiration. Well, you've just got two. No, I got two XP and one inspiration. Oh, okay. Wait, Charles, because he killed the giant by himself, I gave him another inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> he got lucky. That, that's okay. probably true too. But, uh, yeah, I can, I can give him another inspiration. I don't know what. Uh, it's not going to kill me. It's it, as far as that. But so, uh, tell me, what's better, lucky or good? <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Yes, preferably at the same time. Yes, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I did. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, like I said, I tried it, uh, and this is more so for Ryan or uh, David if he shows uh, our UK guys. Uh, I try to keep it right around this time frame. Yeah. Yep. As far as that, generally, that's why pulling it to this point and stopping. And this way, you get a you'll be able to get a full rest and like that. And uh, what? Oh, the one question I will ask: What are you doing with the girl and the old uh, fisherman? Um, are I think taking, we, are you taking them with you into the smugglers' tunnels? Yes, I think so. I think so as well. Yeah, I would put forward like unless like the old fisherman's fine to come along. Uh, like unless he like he's a full-grown person, he can leave if he decides to. Uh, right. The girl though, we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on. Well, Unless she expresses like family that she wants to go to or something. To, I think we need to go to the temple and he can he can be a witness uh, you know that he was taken into slavery. Uh, he can, but I wouldn't want to keep like if he's really against it, I wouldn't want to keep him like against his will kind of thing. Right, so I like, we'll tell him what we want him to stick around for and as yeah. long as he's fine with it, we'll have him stick around. Is he willing to testify? He'll look at you guys and he'll say, testify against who or to what? We just tell your story to the church. Let's see here. I know what I would want to, want to say, but uh, I want to be fair. He'd say, uh, he'd say, yeah, I'll tell the church the story. Okay. <laughs> but does he laugh maniacally or is that the GM? <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um yeah. Basically what Cup says then is either way we should probably bring him with us for now. Um and he won't fight he won't fight you to go. <laughs> yeah. As as far as that. So we'll we'll, we'll kind of end it right there. Seems any good. Uh, any particular questions or <laughs> such? Um, I think not at the moment. Hey, you're oh, twice as hard to kill now, Morgoth. That's uh, not quite because I actually only take uh, like I don't get max unless I get max. I don't get max HP on dice, right? Or for level ups. What? You can go one of two ways. You can roll dice, or you can take the uh, what they call the average. And I suggest taking the average. Oh, for sure. I'm roll. just going to take the average of my D12, which is a seven. Which is a seven, right? Plus, plus your con. Yeah, plus my con. So yeah, so I'm not can... quite. A, I'm not quite twice as hard to kill, because uh, I only got nine more hit points. But uh, it's a pretty solid amount if I start raging. Yeah. yeah. As far as that, so. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the chase. I wasn't going to make the chase too in enveloping, but I wanted it long enough so it seemed like a chase. Yeah, that was fun. I, I thought it was well done. 
Um, did you uh, have a moment after the game here, Charles? Yeah, I got time. Okay. I, I just, uh, because I scheduled it that way, and, and there's only a couple of games I'm kind of that way because of 